That is live, guys. So we are diving in. We are now absolutely live. I will see you all on the other side. We'll be commentating and hanging out, of course, with chat the entire time. So thank you guys all for coming out, for the follows, the likes, and the love. Here we go. This is the Merciless Solo Cash Cup. You've already got players running. I was thought I was the first in, and I wasn't. We absolutely need to grab some abilities. So there we go. We've got Blood Right. No, no, no. That's our counter. That's our counter. What else do we have? Madness. Oh, we've got Madness Fallen Angel. Stupidity. We've got Fallen Angel and Arctic Leap and Frost Vortex. We're going for Frost Vortex. The ultimates being unlocked is going to be crazy. I'm about to use my ultimate in the tutorial. Chalky Milk trying to pick up an early kill. We need that bone. We need that bone, baby. Oh, it fell away from me. I'm out of here, guys. I think we are actually going to be skipping the tutorial today, guys, and we're just going to go try to kill some other monsters outside the tutorial. We're going to need that salve for sure. Look at this ult right off the bat! It didn't even do any damage! This is 50% spell power. Oh, my health. My poor health. These monsters are 120% health and power. So we got to play slightly carefully here. Thank God we got some bones. So many players are going to be unable to find bones in this early stage. Another player has just arrived. This is Jomne. Look at all these players trying to get the bone. We're out of here. Uh, I am going west. West Farbane Woods today. We're going to be building the base at Clive. I've never gone west before, so this is all going to be brand new to me. Maybe we can get a solo alpha kill and get very lucky. I hadn't planned on killing it, but you never know what you're going to run into. Bone ring down. Madness. We are in the lead, Madness hanging out. Stupidity. Some ultimates are not going to be unlocked because in order to unlock those, that would have actually progressed players forward. So Quincy isn't unlocked. That would have given players iron. And Octavian is not unlocked, of course. Here's Spiderweb, level 3. No, oh, we're, we're out of bone. Let's try to feed on this. Give ourselves the creature buff for a little bit of movement speed. He's going to try to pick up our bones as well. I think we might have got those. No, he got him. He's too fast. Look at all these players who came east. This is crazy. Oh, we got some bones. Thank God. All right, where are we? I've never spawned on this side, guys. I actually don't know what is going on over here. This is very intense for me. We need bones madness. and animal hide. Madness and stupidity. 15, 12 minutes on the PvP protection timer. This is absolute madness. I think I'm going to be going for an early horse and a base. Maybe to copper mine as well. What do we do here? For the first in copper mine and madness. we get a copper weapon, madness and that would stupidity. give us a massive head start. But I think putting down the base is going to be pretty vital. Let's go ahead and make our way to... There's a treant. The treant could actually help us gather some materials. Unfortunately, I don't have enough bone for an axe. Yes, that is movement speed on the creature buff. That is a great thing to start with. A little bit of animal hide here. Just need some bones now. So we're going to make our way up to this base location and see if there's any wolves or bears that we can kill. There's probably so many players right now stuck inside the tutorial zone. There is plenty of bones right there. We are on the way up. Doing a good job keeping our health up as well. A couple more creatures here. This is going absolutely perfect right now. This is what we want to see. Unfortunately, in the last Solos tournament, I didn't know what to do when I ran out of bone, but here we are doing good and looking good. 
That is everything we need. We just need a little bit more bone for axes. We're on the way up, guys. This is going great. Let's try to get some early chests and pray to our Lord and Savior, Aurangesius, for a bandit weapon drop. Look at all these thugs. What? That's a 56% rogue. We definitely want that. Let's try to hit every other monster here. Big old coming out. Got to be careful. These monsters are very strong. We managed to save the 56% rogue. This is big. That's going to give us the space bar critical hit here. 10 minutes on protection. We are in a great, great spot right now. Feeling good and looking good. Thank you guys for tuning in and welcome. Core's thread. We're making our way up to Night Stalker very quickly. We need a Keeley kill pretty quick and probably a Rufus kill in order to get the Berserk so we can gather materials a bit quicker. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Doing a great job not getting stunned by the shield. You can really feel, or at least I can really feel, the amount of practice we've put in fighting monsters all the way across Vardaron. Not picking up any bones from these monsters, but we will be getting essence. Of course, we want to get some blood rose as well to make our, uh, our level 6 item level ring. We are doing great. This is a merciless tournament. This is going to be crazy. We need a big kill. We absolutely cannot get hit by this brute. This would be death. This would, that would be one shot at this stage with 120% damage from the Brute. We are going to need bones, so i got to look out for a bit more animals. There's a whole pack of wolves. That's going to be great. Update me in chat if you guys are in the tournament with what item level you've got to and where everyone else is. I am very far away from the pack right now. We're doing our own strategy. I did think about this last night, and I plot and plan, and so far it is working out marvelously. We are getting some materials and hanging out, and we're going to be grabbing a horse and making our base very quick. I think we can get enough item level to farm some nearby copper as well, and then go for our first forge and get the copper smelting, and then we'll be fighting bosses with a copper weapon, which is going to give us a big advantage in PvP, as well as PvE. I like the Frost Vortex. I'm not sure how that's going to work out um, for PvP, but it is going to chill them, and because spell power is reduced, we're going to be looking for some big melee kills, and all PvP fights are going to be going a lot longer than normal. So there is some bone, and we just barely don't have enough for a couple more wolves here. counter to get my health back. It's not going to work out. This monster might actually be taking too much time from us. I might just decide that this monster is not worth it, but he's already at half, so it's hard to want to stop. Just doing a great job keeping my health up. We will need to make salves sooner or later as well. Unfortunately, no Unsullied Heart, but that would have been a big pickup at this stage. We are going to get enough bone now to create the mace as well. Oh, we can't make that just yet. Okay. Gonna get just enough wood so we can get ready to make our base. PvP timers are already about to fall off. It is going to be crazy out here. It's 
So we know we can't get the gems. We are too low level for that. One of the players in Global is saying they can't even find things to kill. This is going to be madness. Madness and stupidity. The server cap is about 60, and I'm sure we've already hit it. We do have players that are saying that there are no open slots. So it's never too late to join the tournament as long as there's a slot open. Like every tournament that Eclipse hosts, most of the time they are going to be filled up to the brim very, very quick. Picking up a nice chest here. That's about the only one we're going to be able to get. Please let this be a 10.0 horse or higher. 9.5. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for horses. So we now have to get ready to put our base down. So we're going to head to Clive and get that base down and see if we can't get a bit of an item level increase. We're going to have plated gear. Probably, actually. Is it just hide? I think it's just hide for plated. Here's Nikki, also going to be going for a base. We could probably follow that player because there's only four minutes until the PvP protections wear off. So we could probably follow them, kill them, and get their inventory. But I'm going to call it's not worth it. They probably don't have that much. The horse lords are going to be activated so quick for this server. I know the bandit armory also has a lot of chests. I almost want to go loot some of the chests there and try for a bandit weapon. That would save us a lot of planks and materials, but uh, for now, I think we're just going to go ahead and head out and to our first base location. Just have players all over the map already. You have to be so careful with where you put your base. Base blocking is absolutely allowed, and if you get your heart keyed, that is your own fault. Uh, we might be stuck here. Oh, this could be very bad. We don't want to lose our heart to a player. Oh, the end cap. No, if we die here, that's going to be over. Trying to get our health back up. We need some health integrity here. Picking up the snare now. Here he comes. Grabbing him as well. Trying to keep that health above 85. We just took a lot of initial damage, which was very bad for us. No, it's Tristan. Oh, the worst possible thing to happen. He's probably going to be able to one-shot us at this level. Let's try to get out of here. I think the horse is still stuck. Oh, perfect. Please. All right, we are off and doing good again. We're going to go ahead and put our base down right next to Clive in just a convenient spot to be able to gank and rat Clive all day today. There's a man trap. That's going to give us some free loot as well. Here we go, guys. We have to build the base very quickly. There is one minute until our timer is up. We need some walls down. Dying right now would be devastating. Of course, we want to hit these stones right here. This is going to give you a lot more stone per attack than your normal stone nodes would. We're going to not be building anywhere near the cliff as we don't want players to be able to horse lord into our base. There's really no point in putting down our coffin just yet because there is a 1.5x respawn timer. So if we die, they're probably going to have enough time to key our heart. Madness. 
madness and stupidity. The tile limit for tier one is only 30, so we're gonna only have a very, very small amount of possibilities here in order to get our base down. And it's gonna take a while to get to tier two, especially there's probably gonna be a lot of players that are gonna be ready to go ahead and gank at Copper Mine. I'm going to try and get, listen to you guys. I know you've all been suggesting that I try to be more um, conservative with my my chests inside my base, so I'm going to try to be less chaotic today and a little more organized. We also have a stone golem just to our southwest, so we can definitely use that to our advantage as well. All right, here comes our heart. I think I'm going to put it here today. We're going to try to avoid that copper node for now. Let's see which of this... This looks like a good initial size of a base to me. Let's go ahead and get this running, and we'll get some walls down as well. Wait, my PvP protection just reset to an hour. What? I'm not sure what's going on with the PvP protection timer. Unfortunately, you guys, the G portal settings are very weird. I thought that said 59 seconds a moment ago, so that is very unfortunate. Hopefully, most players will uh, have enough integrity to get rid of that. Sounds like there's already a player here near me. Or some PvE mobs fighting. I'm going to go ahead and drop my PvP flag. So we are going to ask players to have a little bit of integrity and drop their PvP flags. Got that admin privilege, baby. All right, here we go. The base is coming up. We are looking good. Oh, I forgot to make an airlock. Your base is going to be so important for this initial stage of the game. So after we get this down, I think we are going to try to just pursue the nearby copper nodes. You don't really need that much copper in order to make a copper weapon. You're only going to need 15 bars, which is going to be 300 ore. And I believe each node just gives somewhere around, I want to say 60 to 100. I don't know the exact numbers, but that means you only need a, just a very small amount of bars to get your initial copper weapon. So we'll be grabbing that and then we'll be going to haunt probably some nearby locations. I do want to get some better vampire powers, so we'll probably be going for Keeley very quick. Of course, Night Stalker is going to be huge, and if we can kill another player, that's going to guarantee us a second set of gear. Now, this is a merciless server today, so dying is going to drop your entire inventory and all of your gear, so every player we kill is going to be a big come up, and our inventory is going to fill up very quickly. Just going to be mostly gathering in this daytime phase. We got to be very careful of people Arctic leaping. Alright, I want to start PvPing pretty quick. Did someone take my horse or did my horse die? I don't actually see my horse on my minimap. I forgot to put it inside of the castle, unfortunately. But there is our castle down, so we are going to be in a really good position now. We just need to go ahead and get... Let's see, place a wooden stash. We'll grab that. And a wooden coffin as well. We just need a bit more timber, and then we're going to need a little bit of timber. 
It does look like my horse is gone, so either my horse died or another player came and took it. I should have actually hidden that um, a lot better, but I screwed that up, but that's all right. We'll grab another one. That is going to waste a little bit of time, but you can see we're in the tournament setting. You, even a small mistake like that is going to set us back about five minutes. But here we go. We need a ton of lumber right now. We'll wait to get the horse until we're a bit higher level. That way we can pursue some more monsters and maybe uh, knock out a boss on the way to the horse. We did learn two days ago, thank you chat for pointing this out, that one of the bosses actually drops uh, Grace and the Armorer drops a guaranteed Merciless Night Stalker piece every time you kill him. So between that boss and Clive, we're going to have a lot of possibilities for farming. You can type exclamation mark IP in the chat to get the access to the tournament's IP address. This is a drop-in, drop-out public format, so there will be no password for the next two days. This is Tournament 5 in a summer long series. Oh wait, I, I can see the horse icon. So actually the horse icon is there. He's just over to the left, so we didn't screw up that bad. There he is, thank god. My base was blocking the icon as along with my waypoint. I have to imagine that the entire pack of players did kill Alpha Wolf and then maybe went on to Rufus and Keeley, so some players are going to be ahead of us with boss kills for sure. Ooh, taking very, very fast sun damage right now. That is unfortunate. We will go ahead and craft the salves so we don't use all our blood. Probably even two salves. And then we'll see if we have enough stuff to actually get that uh, workbench down and operating. There it is. We need some planks, so it's going to be 20 wood per plank. We need 8 for the workbench and 5 for the weapon. So we're going to need 13. That's going to be 290 wood. So we're going to go ahead and get back out there and get a bit more wood. And then we are off to the races. I feel like I'm moving pretty fast, but obviously if players have ganked other people by now, they are going to be very far ahead of us in terms of materials. Also, by having a horse this early, we will have the opportunity to horse lord some players and jump into their bases. So we're going to see some big PvP and some big tournament plays here in just a moment. We do have some natural regen happening, so we'll probably just naturally regen the rest of our health. Oops. Obviously a kill on Rufus would have been massive for gathering. That would have saved us a lot of time in the long run, so we're going to try to go kill him now before we really delve into too much materials. So we're going to call this good on gathering for probably the next hour while we kill players and bosses. We definitely need ourselves an alpha wolf as well. Alright, so we're on our way to the, the correct amount of planks. We're going to go ahead and make a risky play here after we put all our loot away. And we will be going um, to... Clive, right? We're going to go ahead and try to loot all the chests at Clive and maybe get some kills on bosses, or excuse me, on monsters with the explosive barrels. Got to be careful here. The monsters are skulls and they're going to be hitting 100%, 120% harder than usual. Up, oh, there's one hit. I might have just killed my horse. Hopefully it keeps running. Woof!
All right, that's a good little loot run. Someone actually in the Discord, in tournament chat, said that if you're out of your base for more than five minutes at the beginning of the game, you're actually risking all your loot, so you want to make those small pro progression plays. So there we have it. We actually got a lot done there, and we picked up some sulfur, which is going to be big for us. Let's go ahead and take a look if we have enough materials as well. So we do have enough planks to get the initial workbench down. This is going very, very well. Uh, stone and animal hide, and we're on the way out, guys. We just wanted to get to a level that was high enough to get copper. Here comes our plated set. That's going to give us a nice item level increase. And then we just need a couple more planks. And we're going to be grabbing probably the reinforced bone axes for the faster gathering. So one more plank is on the way. And then blood rose ring. We're going to need plant fibers and blood roses. And we are going to absolutely be gathering some copper and getting ready for a copper weapon. That's going to give us such an advantage in PvP. So we're making small pro progression plays here. Even though we don't actually have a boss kill yet I think we're doing very very well as far as tournaments go there's all our planks that's going to be a reinforced bone axes this should be enough to gather copper and plenty of trees madness madness and stupidity that is enough this is going to be copper. Every 20 copper ore is one bar. We only need 15 bars to get our weapon. And we are going to be in a th copper within 30 minutes, ready to PvP, gatekeep, and zero some players out. So it's 72 copper per node. That's about three and a half bars per node. We need 15, so we only need five nodes. We're just going to walk around, probably with the horse, taking a look for a couple of copper ore nodes. Copper mine is going to be an absolutely deadly place to exist. We already have players saying good fight in the chat. I'm sure some players are going to be getting zeroed out and getting eliminated today very early on in this tournament. Let's go ahead and get our furnace down as well. Just need some stone. We have exactly enough. Almost. Ten shy. Ten shy. Alright, let's grab the horse. And we'll go ahead and get some copper and some stone going. Let's look for where those nodes are close together. Uh, unfortunately, I did not see that tree in. So we're actually going to skip that copper node and look for another one. We're in a really good part of the map where I don't think a lot of players are going to have bases down. And I'm sure there's some players who also went to the, uh, the hollowed mountain. So you're going to have a lot of players spread out right now trying to devise the best place to put a base. Now this is solos and you only have one base. So I think you're going to have a lot of players um, avoiding tier three this time around because it's just a very far distance from tier one. And if you get killed all the way down here, you're going to be about 20 minutes away after regearing. Drinking some tea. Starting to feel good. If we can get a couple more nodes, we are going to be off to the races. Of course, we always also want to get Blood Roses, guys. That's going to give us access to the Blood Rose for Ooze. I don't think you, you must not be able to get that on the horse. Here we go. Couple more copper. This is the first time we've used a base at this location in a tournament setting. But I think there's going to be so many bases at Quincy that it's, it would have been a logistical nightmare over there. And a lot of places, a lot of players are going to get horse lorded, excuse me. I wish that, I, I realized that I forgot to test if keying the heart was free. We did set that up, but I'm just not positive if it's going to work out. So hopefully it will. Here we have an unsullied heart. That's actually a big pickup for us. It's going to allow us to get into some nice accessories early in the game. Mostly looking for copper right now. What do we have? 290. We're almost to our weapon. We're going to stick close to home base in case we have to run. A tactical retreat is always a win in this game, especially in a merciless setting. Losing our inventory right now would be very painful. Probably should have got a mace now that I think about it, but I know we're going to need a lot of planks pretty quick. Actually getting 87 copper from that node, so it does seem variable. I think one more node and we're going to be good to go. And we know that node is over there next to our base as well. Very close to Treant. 
Here's a player. We've got a horse. This is going to be big for us. They already wasted their counter. They did kill Keeley. A big ult coming out. It's not going to be enough. They've got their counter again, so we're not going to attack them here. That is a wasted counter. Good iframe, though. Very good iframe from Black Blood. Knocking us off the horse as well. Hopefully getting him in the counter here. We got him. That's it. He's dead. Let's see what kind of inventory we have. Nothing crazy, but that is our second set. Oh, we love it. That is going to zero that player out. They only lost bone, though, it looks like, and some basic materials, but that's going to be a big come up for us. And here is our copper node as well. This is big. Let's see, they didn't have any good weapons, so they actually didn't have a minor weapon yet. That was Black Blood going down to Clive's boyfriend. We are 1 0 in this tournament and feeling great. The Horse Lord strategy absolutely playing well and drawing out the counter was a beautiful play. Madness. Madness the plays and, and the outplays. Here's another player. It's Raftalia. They've killed Lydia so far. They're on the run. We're going to be following them for sure. They're level 13. It's going to be a good kill. They've killed Alpha Wolf and Lydia so far. They're way ahead of us. Two hits here from the horseback. This player has nowhere to go. They don't have a counter on. They do have a counter. Here comes the Chaos Volley. That's going to knock us. Knock him off the horse here is big. That could be huge. This could be them getting the horse. I got him barely. We got so lucky there. He's turning into a wolf. We're going to get a free attack. He's won. Nowhere to go. The counter was wasted. They are one shot here. We need the horse. We are level 20. They're turning into a wolf and going west. This is a long fight here. He's going to go for the counter. We're not going to attack him right away. We draw it out. Got him. Got him. He iframed into the shadow bolt. Massive. Oh, look at his inventory. It's huge! I don't even know what to drop. All the copper, he had ingots. A bone crossbow is big right now as well. Glass, glass, glass. I don't, we don't need a water well. Planks, stone, copper ingots. We're going to drop hide here. That's all we can pick up. He's got 12 chorus thread. That's basically enough for some gear. I think we're going to drop the bone crossbow here in order to pick up the chorus threads, and we're out of here. What an absolute battle. That player trying to save their inventory. That player was stacked. Holy heck, that player was stacked beyond recognition. That was their entire inventory. We are 2-0 and, oh, and all the way up right now. Let it loose in the chat, guys. I can't believe it. That is definitely going to be our forge for sure. We need to get the brazier down as well. Give ourselves a little bit of respite here from the sun as the sun has just come up. The copper is being burned. The copper weapon is coming out. We need the research desk. 
blood altar as well. I don't really need the blood altar. I don't, I don't really care about this. It's not useful in the early part of the game, but uh, we'll put it down for now just to pursue our quest, of course. You know what? We actually, we probably do need an alpha wolf. Let's go ahead and track that just in case. Research desk, of course we need. That's going to be a couple more planks. We have plenty. This is beautiful. The plays, the outplays, and the potential right now. We got an alchemy lab flooring and a dusk watcher's ring. This could be big. Hopefully we have enough gems to equip that right away. Dusk watcher's ring, crude topaz. We've got some grave dust though. We're going to put our gems in here as well. We need to build another chest specifically for this. We are going to try to play a little bit better as far as organization goes, as I mentioned. How much? 150 lumber. That's a lot of planks. Let's just put down a vampire lockbox here. Also, I think the vampire lockbox looks cool. Must move within the same castle. How come I can't, uh, why can't I place this? That's weird. Uh... Hmm. No worries. We don't need it. Alright, so what do we need here? We're gonna need copper bars. Oh, we've got even more copper. We have so much copper. That player had an insane amount of copper. Plus our copper. That is great. Oh, we need to kill Keeley. Right? He had so much coarse thread. He's got some whetstones. We're gonna leave the cloth here and the planks for now, the gems. This is incredible. We're running low on blood, though, so we have to pay attention to that. Give our horse a little bit of water and name him Rat Trap Prime, of course. Coming out the gates here with some big kills. Compulsively stack whatever we've got here. Get some of this stuff away. We are going to need um, the leather bench down pretty soon as well. Of course, we're going to get some more planks rolling. Beautiful. This is fantastic. That is the early game PvP. Players are unprepared for this level of play. I'm going to take the shortest break while we wait for this cotton, guys. Or, excuse me, this copper. I'll be right back in just a moment. Please, exclamation mark giveaway in the chat. All right, I'm back and feeling great. We're going to go ahead and give ourselves admin privilege here just so we can do some announcements in the chat. There we go. Get a little RP in the chat, guys. It always feels great. We are at 10 copper bars. We're on the way to our weapon. We need some more gems. I think we can actually craft ourselves. We're going to go for the copper mace. Of course, we're going to be closing the distance and diving into some melee fights all the way across the board. Thank you all for tuning in. We already have 50 people registered for the giveaway. That is massive. We've got DLCs today as well as the base game. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting this channel and this tournament. We are having ourselves a ball so far. Yes, we are. I'm going to wait, guys. I'm going to wait. How much time do we need here? We only need about three more minutes, and we will have ourselves a copper weapon. We're going to be so far ahead of the competition. Let's go ahead and gather some more wood as well. We need a lot of planks and just an immense amount of stone to make this castle stone. 
Sieges are on right now, so the sooner we can kill Clive, it's going to be the faster that we can get explosives down. We have vampires all the way across the land. The server is full. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're in the queue and trying to get in, thank you for joining. Problem has just arrived as well. Another great PvP here. We've got AK-47 and Hellfish along with JSIC. These are players who are creating tournament servers and dueling. So there's going to be some big kills today. This is Merciless and we've already zeroed out two players. That's us running out of blood though. I, I was not prepared for that. I meant to uh, I meant to go and grab that sooner. So we're gonna have to eat a tainted heart or five here. Uh, let me see. That little break uh, put me off. Madness. I actually meant to do that sooner. Madness here we stupidity. go. We're gonna be eating some tainted hearts. This is madness and stupidity today. A couple ults unlocked off spawn is gonna turn this tournament upside down. Here we go, guys. This is Copper Weapon. How long has the tournament been up now? I don't know what time it is. It's been up for about 35 minutes, and we are into Copper. What do we need? One more. One more ingot. It's 16. I thought it was 15. Yahoo! Here we go, guys. A beautiful Copper Mace coming up fresh that's going to give us access to so much stone and copper we're going to be going to copper mine and so many other places on the map the shadow bolt earlier hitting for 22 we do have a 50 percent spell power reduction so fights are going to be longer and deadlier you're going to want snares so we're going to be rocking the wolf snare and frostbat likely with no counter this is an offensive build and we are going to be hammering players with the mace and the frost vortex let's go ahead and get some more planks going as well Beautiful. We're going to want to get a grinder down as soon as possible as well. Let's see what we need for the, the old grinder. It's going to be planks, copper ingots, and whetstones. We'll have that pretty soon also. There is the mace. Absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and get a couple more uh, salves going just so we can be absolutely PvP ready and so we can stay out for a little bit longer this time around. Obviously, every time you kill a player, you're probably going to want to come back toward base. We're going to need to save some bones as well for Grave Dust. Got a Sulfur already. We might want to go hit Clive. Here is our Copper Mace. It's deadly. We need some gems. We need some gems and some Grave Dust. Let's see who we can find and who we can pick up. We're looking for gems for our 9 item level ring. And we're looking for Unsullied Hearts to get an early Greater Blood Essence. Madness. Madness and stupid. Thank you all for the follows, the likes, and the love. It's a 4% warrior. Nothing crazy right there. I think we're going to kill this pack, though. Uh, oops. Just to get our first buff. There's a 21% warrior. Unfortunately, I'm going to kill him. Look at how much damage we're doing already. Now I frame this. There's a 4% rogue and a 4% warrior. I think we're going to pick up the warrior here. Just for the extra melee damage. It's going to be a very small amount, but it's for sure going to be better than nothing. I have to be one of the highest levels, although some players probably do have Night Stalkers, so I do need to kill. There's a 19% Rogue. I do like that. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll kill everything else but that. There's a 33% Rogue. No way that hit me past the other monster. That's crazy. Gotta be careful with our health here. We're getting very low. Very, very low right now. We cannot lose this Copper Mace. That would be devastating this early in the tournament. Oh no, I thought I had my counter up. Oh, the misplays, guys. We're so low. 70 health. A Horse Lord could basically two-shot us right now. 
Picking up some wool threads. Excuse me, some chorus threads and some whetstones. We are in a great spot here for Night Stalker after we picked up all the other players' chorus threads. So that is what we were talking about. When you don't have the base down early, guys, you are going to be devastated in this tournament. He went to Lydia, probably went toward Keeley, and also went to Alpha Wolf, and he suffered the consequences. The horse is the play of the game for us so far, able to chase players down despite not having an Alpha Wolf. We're now going to be looking for an Alpha Wolf. Here's a base up here to the left. It's right next to a cliff. Here's a player. 27 off the horse. Probably going to be doing a counter here very soon. Dodge this. He's going to counter. He countered. We drew it out. This is going to be our third kill, I think. I don't think this player is going to be able to escape. Might have the counter again. We drew it out. This is looking great. Got to be careful of the bear, though. Don't want to get knocked off the horse here, and we hope this player does not get back to their base. This player also has Alpha Wolf. Missing his counter. We're waiting for the days to wear off, and we're back on the horse. These players have to steal the horse, else they're going to get killed. There's 27. He barely missed his counter there. 27 again. He's one shot. Big Arctic Leap. It's not going to connect. He is one absolute right now. He's going to counter. We're going to wait. Hitting him for eight. He's definitely absolute here. A monster might even kill him for us. Here come the wolves. Got him with the Shadow Bolt again. A 45% creature. We're going to leave that there. That is a set of... Oh, a beautiful... A beautiful resistance potion. The Sun Resist potion was huge. We've got a chest up here as well. We're looking for gems, players, monsters. We are 3-0 and right now. Getting some nice inventory drops couple chests in this camp. This is going to be big for us. Just going to horse lord around a little bit. Keep our health high. We also cannot let a player steal our horse. That is going to set us back like we talked about earlier. Probably a good 5 or 10 minutes. Also a 9.5 horse is going to be pretty fast. We don't really have enough stuff to knock players off the horse. We've gotten very lucky with the things that we do have. Oops, sorry. Pushing up a bunch of times. There's some leather. Like to see that. We also want to unlock rat pretty quick today. So we're probably going to be going for Rufus and building the woodworking bench and trying to get a fishing pole up and running. Some more copper thread. Excuse me, chorus thread. Just a beautiful start to the tournament for us. This is the kite. This is what we've been practicing for. I'm going to drop his second set. This is, uh, this is just bone. We don't actually need this. Also, because this is looted, maybe somebody won't find that. Not a huge pickup anyway, right? A little bit of bone isn't going to matter too, too much. We're now looking for bases that we can horse lord, and we're probably going to be heading back to base soon, guys. We, we need to make very good plays. Here's another player, a level Mads. 23. Mads this would be big for us. Stupidity. Knocking us off the horse here. Here comes his ult. My ult as well. He's going to get out of that. Jumping off the horse here. Big counter. Big counter from him as well. Nice shadow bolt. We're winning in the left click war at the moment. He missed his jump. Big jump. We got to play smart here. He's going to go for the horse. He's absolutely going to go for the horse here. No, he's going to get away. We don't have horse yet. We don't have wolf. We needed that kill. He's level 23. It's going to be massive. He is out of here. That's the horse. That player outplayed us there by jumping off the cliff. We should have got back onto the horse. Beautiful plays there from that player. That is a great fight. They are going to escape for sure. 
Let's see what we want to do here, guys. We don't have the horse, and we don't have wolf form. That means we have no way of escaping. We definitely misplayed a little bit there um, with the ultimate as well. Used it a bit too soon. We should have waited for them to try to steal the horse. Uh, I think we go for... Let's see. It, shows, it shows alpha Madness wolf. No, stupidity. this way is too far. Let's go ahead and pop another vermin salve. And I think we'll head up and get another horse. So that player did outplay us. That would have been a copper weapon. Securing our second copper weapon would be huge. Now remember, this server has zero conversion rate uh, for servants. So we're going to want to get servants up as soon as possible. Now with players level 23 and horses, we're probably going to have players killing Clive soon and trying to go for iron. So we do want to gatekeep Clive as soon as we can. So we want to be staying close to base and making a lot of pro progression plays. We're looking for, I think, Topaz here uh, for the Dusk Watcher ring. We need to be careful. We don't have horse, and we don't have any big abilities. We are now... Oh, I went the wrong way. We're now absolutely able to be killed by players. We have no escapes. So we have another level 23. That player is in the exact same position as us. We have a base here. It's at the heart. It's at the basically next to a cliff. Now, if I cannot key this player's heart... That is, if we can't key the heart, uh, I'm going to teleport through that, guys. And we're going to have to uh, make sure we tell all players that you can't uh, key hearts. But here we go. Hopefully, I can get in here. If I had a horse, I definitely could get in here. This is Coral Vonda, the player we just killed. He's just opened his base as well. He's inside. This could be very good for us. If we kill him, we can key his heart. We're going to zero this player out this tournament if we can. If we had the horse, we could definitely jump in here as well. They're leveling up. They're finishing quests. No, the sun's rising. We can't wait here anymore. We're going to go get a horse. We're going to mark this on the map, and we're going to know to come back here and zero that player out. Right, I'm going to ask the admin to ensure that heart keying is free and available right now. We did try to make that a setting, so this is a very merciless server. Players are going to be getting zeroed out in their castles and their inventories and equipment. We've got some copper here, so we're going to pick that up as well. We are going to be going for an early servant strategy. We want to get the economics of the hardcore cycle down, and we want to get make sure that we have servants gathering for us so we're not always risking our lives every time we leave base. Here we go. Let me see if I can get some sulfur. I can actually gather sulfur as well. So we're going to get sulfur and gems. We're going to be ready to siege players in this first four-hour window. You only need five explosive boxes to go through wood walls, guys. That is going to absolutely be incredible, right? If we manage to siege... Yes, that is a confirmation. We can absolutely... Ooh, we actually got smoked by that bear. We can key hearts. The admin has just confirmed it. So we are going to be zeroing out our first player in this merciless tournament setting. Someone asked if you're eliminated from the server when your heart is keyed. You're not eliminated, but it's going to be very hard to come back from having no castle. Aura has just arrived as well, one of the former duos tournament champions. So you can see that getting having to get the horse again is very bad. Obviously, if we'd killed that player, we don't know what their inventory had. We might have doubled up all the resources we have. And of course, the copper mace would have been 16 copper bars, which was huge. So we did not do a good enough job um, saving the horse. We also should have saved our queue there. 
for when he got on, but maybe we'll get lucky here and we'll get an even faster horse. Here's an 8.7, that's trash. Here's another player. This is Coral. This is the player we're trying to zero. Gonna miss with, he's gonna miss with the counter. He's not even attacking us. This is gonna be huge for us. Big snare. Counter coming in. Outplaying here. He's gonna go ahead and drop the Arctic Leap. That is gonna get us. We do not have wolf form. But we have a horse right here on top of us. Very, very bad timing for this player. Also, if we kill them, they'll have a, a one minute respawn timer. Here they are. Let me out. This is, what, what, this is an 8.0 horse. He's almost faster in wolf form. With copper, this player doesn't have copper. There's no way they can get away from us. That is death. We are 4-0 now. Picking it up. We don't care about his gear, though. That is very bad luck for that player. Gonna go ahead and loot this as well. We should have actually looted this earlier when we were getting a horse, but I forgot. That's gonna be a reinforced plank and some cloth. 8.0, this horse is so slow. Uh, we might even have to go to the horse racing track. We are looking for a 10 now, so we're going to be using a horse from this point forward uh, to kill bosses. And there's going to be so many other players on the map with horses, so we need to choose a very nice horse in order to be able to escape from fights and pursue players. Let's see what we have here. Come on, 10-5. That's an 8.9, so we are going to have to go to the horse racing track. So definitely losing that horse earlier is going to be a big setback for us. But we picked up a player kill. I didn't really have very much though, so it wasn't the biggest gain. I probably should have picked his loot up and dropped it somewhere else. But uh, we also need to go back to base, right? We want to make a pro progression play here after we get the horse. We do have a lot of miscellaneous materials. Usually there's a chest up here as well. This is kind of a good spot to occasionally get stuff, but uh, not going to be one up here this time. Wool thread, of course, we're going to want wool threads. And sunflowers in order to make our night stalker and our merciless iron. Horse racing track is filled to the brim. Hopefully these are race horses. This is a 10.0. Looking good. 9.5, not gonna cut it. 9.5, not gonna cut it. Come on, 10.8. 10.5, there it is. Fast as fuck, boy! Here we go. Back out into the world. There's some sulfur. We do. Here's a chest as well. We're actually going to go ahead and farm here really fast. Madness. There's Madness. a fish, but it's not going to be the Twilight Snapper. We are going to be trying to siege some of the best players in the world today, guys. Got to be careful here. I forgot that there was fire arrows. We need to have a very, very good chance of uh, keeping our health up here. Here comes a fire arrow. Dodging that one. Here comes the next fire arrow, I believe. That's going to be the fire arrow. We're going to go ahead and stop that. Another fire arrow. If we get hit by that, we could die. I need to be very, very careful right now. Here comes the next fire arrow, I believe. Set himself on fire. We like to see that, though. Nope. Inventory's full. Gonna try to counter the next fire arrow. Here it comes. Picking it up. Let's take a look at our inventory. It's getting chaotic and full in here. Probably don't need the seed. Actually, yeah, we do. Mm, sunflower? I don't think we need sunflower seeds. Four quartz isn't going to be that much. 
go ahead and grab this fish oil and then we are back on the road wait did we get quartz can we already farm quartz oh that's actually huge we'll just go ahead and get both of these real fast quartz is glass and glass is a scourge stone pendant so we do want to get quartz pretty quick you know what we oh no we don't have merciless as soon as we get a merciless copper mace we can go get a little bit of iron and cotton and we'll be set up for tier two we're not gonna we're not going to be killing quincy for a good amount of time guys we're gonna play this very very casually we're not gonna get gate kept at quincy i know a lot of times in the tournaments we mostly go for pvp and quincy kills and gatekeeping but today we are playing to win and we're gonna be avoiding quincy into the later stages of the tournament So here we go, back to base. I think we're going to zero out Coral, though. Stash the horse right here, and we'll grab this Sulfur. We are going to be ready to siege very quickly, guys. The siege window is four hours today, and we're about one hour into the tournament. If I kill Clive and get the Alchemy Bench down, we will be sieging some top players. It's going to be very fast to kill people that aren't ready. Their walls are going to go down instantly. Their heart is going to get keyed, and they are going to be dead. They have to make some big decisions this tournament on how far they want to stay for their for stray, excuse me, from their base. And we need to be protecting Clive as well. Hopefully no one has killed Clive yet. That way we can start gatekeeping him and kill him ourselves. I think we could kill him at 23 by horse lording, so we might go ahead and try that and just keep farming him for a little while, get all the merciless recipes and all the sulfur in the world. Here comes us keying coral oh why can't I jump there hmm we'll see I thought for sure I could go over the wall maybe they fixed that do you not horse lord into people's bases anymore I definitely feel like I should have made that though. Where is my horse? Hello? What? Hello? Ooh, we are going to get a lot of nodes though. This is going to be really big for our inventory. We're getting copper and sulfur, so we can just stay away from copper. The copper mine for basically all the way up until we're ready to gank there. I genuinely don't know where... Let's go ahead and make some more salves as well. Um, and then we will drop uh, these bone axes since we already have better axes. I don't see the horse on the minimap. That might have bugged out. Did he steal my horse? Yes! Yes! That player has to fight us right now. They have to fight us, else their heart is about to get keyed. No! During PvP hours? 1 to 7 on the weekdays. What? I must have screwed the hours up on G Portal. I don't have access to that. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on here. No, he moved the chest. That should be impossible. Oh, we that's a bug for sure. Madness. Madness and stupidity.
I don't know what to do here, guys. I should be able to destroy this. Th this should be destroyable. This is actually going to really hurt players. So here is the admin who was testing it, and it did show that destroying it is free. So that says that it's been abandoned. So I I'm not sure what's going on. It should be free to destroy these. I guess technically I could just wait for the blood to run out, but I don't know how long that would take, and it would probably be way too long. I, I don't know what to do here. I have to I have to talk to it an admin. I should have actually left there, if I'm being honest. So we do have admin here. He's going to take a look and he's going to make a decision. So this, the admin is looking at the castle and it shows that the, the admin can destroy it. Uh, I don't know why I can't destroy it. Um, we're going we're gonna to make an executive decision here. I'm losing valuable tournament time right now as well. I should have set this uh, to zero to zero. So it looks like I'm just bugged because I'm not sure why, but it does look like I'm bugged, but we do need to make a systems announcement. Madness, madness and stupidity. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. I think. I think we let him have this, um, and then maybe I restart my client. Oh, the server's full. I don't want to risk a queue. I'm not sure we should have been able to destroy that. To be honest, I wish we had rat form as well. Maybe when he comes out of here, I'll try to grab my horse back.
All right, the admin team is going to go test that, guys. Sorry for the interruption. We often have uh, some scuffed server settings at the very start of a match. So, un unfortunately, he is going to get my horse um, as well. I didn't even see that player. So, he did look like he came up and stole the horse while I was fighting wolves. So, that guy was just very smart and absolutely ready. I'm not sure why I couldn't, uh, it didn't let me jump over the castle walls, so with this recent balance patch, they did fix a lot of opportunities, uh, for horses. So the admin team's gonna consult there, guys. Normally, I would have been able to destroy. Here's Jacek! We're not gonna get him off the horse. And he is gonna take off. So Jacek might have just killed Clive. We needed the horse. We needed to key that castle, and we needed to make some big plays. So unfortunately, uh, we kind of we're kind of scuffed right now. I'm not sure what was going on with the tournament hours. I know it said one to five, but it's supposed to be local time. Here comes another player as well, so we might be able to get this. That's him off the horse. What? No! 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 Oh my god, I was fighting someone. Oh, uh, the scuff. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. This tournament, we are having a lot of problems to start with. We're right now 4-0 in PvP. Uh, we we might have should have been 5-0 right there with the horse, but... um, I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Here's a player who just got inside. He, he, he ulted. What is going on right now? All right, guys. I'm going to get onto a call with the admin. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Uh, we just did a clarification test. Unfortunately, I am the only player who scuffed. Um, we did allow other players to test destroying the heart, and other players can. So uh, I am the only one who is scuffed, so I will have to call an admin in order to destroy hearts um, when I use the explosive boxes. Um, that the admin did call another player there, uh, and they were talking in voice chat. Um, and so the other player, Rafalia, was actually another admin. Um, so a lot of players are using different names. That way we don't have any favoritism or teaming going on. So thank you for sticking with us, guys, and uh, getting through this kind of scuff. Uh, we are still learning, as always, hanging out and having a good time. But I am now behind in this tournament. I absolutely should have been able to destroy that player's heart. So in the future, I will have to call an admin to destroy hearts. Um, let's see what we're doing right now. Okay. Oh, that threw me off, man. That threw me off. That That is uh, un very unfortunate that I'm bugged. So I, I for somehow got a one-hour PvP timer, and I picked up somehow um, the inability to key hearts down. So I am, I am like, one of the only players who scuffed, and I'm not sure why that is, but uh, it is what it is, guys. And we'll just have to play from here on out. Um, but we know we can kill that player's heart if we can jump over the wall, so we just have to maybe jump over the wall a bit sooner. Um... Not what am I doing? We need Topaz. I don't think we have any Topaz yet. We have two. So we're on the way up there with Topaz. We've got some leather as well, so we should be able to craft Night Stalker soon. I do need a horse, uh, unfortunately. So at least we clarified the stuff. That was the little uh, admin... Little, Excuse me, guys. I'm just... Let me take a break from talking for a minute. Let me sort my thoughts. 
Um, I hate that I was unable to key that. Uh, that would have been really big. I probably would have killed that player and got all their loot. But uh, next time I get in there, I will have to call an admin to help me. All right, so we're doing okay. And we see players all over the map right now with horses. So as long as um, the scuff works in other players' favor and not mine, um, then we are okay with that. I like that that player instantly Arctic leaped when they were in my castle. I thought somehow they jumped off their horse and managed to Arctic leap off the back of the horse into my castle. And I was going to be absolutely amazed. So the admin will be on board. Uh, we have several admins online that I, I didn't know a lot of them were playing. So we do have players who are incognito with other names, similar to what I did with Clive's boyfriend. So now here's a player. They're actually going to bring me the horse, I hope. They are going to bring me the horse. No, no, they're going to leave. They're coming back. Getting the counter here. That's actually my horse. That's my first horse. They're going to waste the counter. This is going to be so big for us. No, no, no. I, I Okay, I actually got him with the Vortex here. I picked him up with the Vortex. He's called the Fallen Angel. This is not going to be enough for this player. The Angel did knock me back. They're going to get on the horse. We got him. A huge kill here. That is going to be an entire set, including a level 6 ring. This is a 9-5 horse as well. This might be two horses for us. Fast as fuck, boy! That's the 10-5! Let's go! Alright, we're gonna try to get both horses here, guys. So let me go ahead and mark on the map. And I'm gonna put this horse right here. And we will come back. A beautiful play there, and a great kill for us. We're now 5-0. We absolutely need to salve. And keep going. The counter play did work, so you need to do what I was doing. You have to draw the counter out when a player is on horseback. Uh, excuse me, when you're on horseback and you're trying to fight a player on the ground, you got to draw out their counter and force them to react and then come back around to keep fighting. Obviously, I'm pretty decent at PvP. I'm not the best by any means, but I do know that I could probably use the Q to get a player off of the horse. But I am going to be taking that initial first hit, so thank God he missed me off of the, uh, the rip there else I would have been long dead. So we are going to have two horses here, and this is going to give us a nice forward advantage. We also need to make a box. He had Night Stalker as well, so this was a big pickup for me. So we're going to leave this horse here. We definitely need to, uh, to grab some wood and make some more boxes. This is a come up. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Um, despite this kind of uh, rocky start for us, uh, we're going to come back from that easily, though. No problem at all. There's my second set. If I die, we are looking absolutely beautiful on materials and loot right now. We're going to be getting that grinder down very quick. It does look like I have enough materials as well for our first piece of Night Stalker. So we're going to go ahead and grab Night Stalker leggings, and we're coming up into our first set here. This is beautiful. We are playing pretty well. Let me see. I don't have any extra leather. This is just magnificent, guys. We are coming up and into it. We're needing... We're going to be going for iron and hollow fang here shortly as well.
Alright, so at least we learned that every other player can key hearts down, so it looks like it's only an issue with me. Again, similar to uh, the PvP protection thing. I don't know what's going on with that. I, I created a character at the same time as everyone else did um, from the Elder Path, but uh, that's alright. We're going to go ahead and dive into this now and keep it going, keep it flowing. Sorry guys, I got uh, slightly tilted there uh, when I couldn't key the heart down. That was uh, a big loss. Also, what a massive big brain play on that player to move the chest while I was trying to loot it. I think that SLS does need to fix that. That is for sure a bug. So now that we have the... Wait, did we, we took the 10-5 back first. Okay, we took the 10... No, this is a 9-3. So someone else came and took that horse and swapped it out with this 9-3. <laughs> Magnificent. Alright, so there are so many players all over the map that we're running into people every two seconds. And there's players who are actually going out of their way to find horses and to steal horses and to try to key down bases. We've got our airlock. We are set up here. Wait, where's my 10-5? Did I leave the 10-5 out there? I misplayed that. My, what I meant to do, guys, was to leave the 10-5 there so we could get on it and then immediately start our journey to go kill Alpha Wolf, but someone actually took the 10-5. So, fast AF boy is gone. And another player is on the way. We've got Aura, Jacek, and so many big PvPers and past tournament champions out here today in the tournament. It's going to be very intense, but we're doing well so far. We just need to get a couple big boss kills. And of course, we are going to go for the Bandit Armory because we need to pick up a Merciless Night Stalker piece so we can be just flooded in T1. We also need to kill Clive and start getting ready to gatekeep Clive. So I want to get to Clive pretty quick, but I just want to take a quick look around and see if we can't key someone's base um, and kill some players who are still building their bases. Of course, we still need Alpha Wolf as well. Really big priority, honestly, is Alpha Wolf so we can escape. Um, there's some sulfur that I want to get too, so we're, we're doing Madness. very well. Madness there's another sulfur up top, so we will be um, able to siege some players pretty quick. So those players that are smart enough to not get horse lorded are still going to be at risk of being sieged today. Thank you for the follows, the likes, the love, and the support. As always, it's all of you that make this possible. Both the tournaments and me to stream. I did just get partnered with YouTube. And we've applied for Twitch partnership, and this is our first month doing anything like this, and it is fantastic. So thank you all for tuning in and hanging out. No chests in this bandit camp, so we're going to avoid this one for now. And we're going to pursue killing the armorer. There was a very interesting bug at the bandit armory, where if you manage to grab an armor to make yourself invulnerable... Oh, there's a player here. These monsters just reset. There might already be a player on the boss. There is a player on the boss. There's two players fighting. It's one brain cell against someone else. This is I, Humilitant. We're not going to let brain cell get away here, though. That is going to be a big freeze on us. Massive pickup there from Humilitant. Humilitant's won! We picked him up. 93% warrior as well. That's huge. We are so low here though. We got it all. We're going for Humilitant because he had copper. That was a choice right there to go for the higher tiered player in order to get copper. And we got it. We're going straight back to base right now. We're going to just play it safe here and stay up here and try to heal. Fantastic Humilitant. Absolutely incredible. Here's a lot of copper as well. We're going to go ahead and grab some of this while we're healing. What a play. We are now 6 or 7 and 0 oh, and we're going all the way up today. This is tournament pro progression play. Thank you guys for hanging out. 93% warrior. We are huge. We are definitely going to be diving into a ton of fights. 
We're gonna drop some rats. Let's see what else. Uh, everything else seems pretty useful to me. That player had plenty of Night Stalker as well. Back to base it is. Just making small, beautiful plays. That's some extra Night Stalker for us. Kiz getting third partied as well. Slinky saying good fight. You have so many players battling across the server. This server is full. Exclamation mark IP though. If you're looking to join, it's never too late. I hear a player farming, guys. We're going to check that out. We have a spear now as well, which is going to be great for pressing Q. So there's already a base up there. <laughs> Look, the, the tree from the cliff actually fell off. Uh, so we're not going to be able to get into that. That's actually a really good position. Although he is liable to be blocked in there by other players if they come to build next to him. Here's some gems. We're going to stop for gems, of course. Looking to get a bit more topaz. So we can make our 9 item level ring and we are coming up across the board right now on our way to level 30 as well. I still haven't killed a single boss. Uh, let's see, let's drop some blood and uh, uh, one empty glass bottle. We'll pick up these two gems. This is incredible. You love to see all the ults coming out. So we did miss with the frost vortex and he picked us up with Arctic Leap. My chests are getting chaotic as well. I know this and I see it, guys. We're going to try to do better as soon as we can. Let's see. We'll put another chest here uh, for more workbench materials for now. God, it's starting to get crowded in here. Let's see. All right, so we're going to drop the plated bone gear as our second set. And we're going to put the spear in here. We've got the blood rose ring. And we've got some early night stalker. And then we're going to be good to go. We've got plenty of stuff crafting and being made at the moment, so we're not wasting time by kind of just hanging out in base. We're going to get the grinder down here as well, and we're going to have some nice come-ups. Almost have enough topaz. We're one short on the topaz scene. Let's grab some bars, and we'll get the grinder down, and we'll get this castle and up into stone. Look at all these iron bars. We're killing it. We're going to have some servants going soon as well. What do we need for that grinder? Some whetstones and planks. Of course, we have all of that, too. Here comes the grinder. That is going to be stone for bricks. We're going to even be able to get siege golems for tomorrow up and running, guys. I'll be right back. Another very short break. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out. The giveaways are open. Alright, I am back and we are doing so 
Very well, guys. Let's go ahead and dive into some more stuff. Let's get some more copper cooking. We need to kill Clive pretty soon. We only need one more topaz, though, to get our next ring. So we're going to be trying to get that ring up and running. I'm going to get a little bit disorganized here, as usual. We will spend a little bit of extra time later organizing this, but for now, we're just doing so good. We want to be out and about in the world. We want to be ganking. We also want to take advantage of this 93% warrior blood, which is just massive. It is daytime, and I don't have a daytime potion, so i got to be careful here. Alright, let's take a look at Clive. I don't really want to fight Clive in the daytime, but it might be a good time to do it because other vampires won't want to come out during the daytime either. So I think I will be going here for a little daytime Clive activity. There's a 40% warrior right there. That is magnificent. Look how much damage we're hitting for. I think we're going to go ahead and make a Clive play because it's daytime. I think we will try to capitalize on other vampires not uh, just being at home building their bases and making pro progression plays. I'm hitting Clive for a significant amount right now. Let's go ahead and get all these explosives taken care of as well so we don't get one shot. Come here, kitty. Unfortunately, my cat does want to, uh, to sit in front of my screen right now, so... We're going to make some very, very smooth and casual Horse Lord plays right now to maintain the integrity of our health. Probably going to go ahead and pop a salve as well. It looks like another player that we killed actually had a cloak. So we did get tatters of undead. So we actually have a wee bit of sun resistance and some extra health, which is fantastic. Definitely didn't notice that until just now, but we are for sure able to withstand quite a bit more sun than we were to earlier. Madness. Madness. Thank you for the follows, the likes, the loves, and the subscriptions, guys. Keep it active in the chat. We do have a giveaway going for Dracula's Relics DLC, a copy of the base game, and a Discord Nitro for free. This is our first boss kill here. We're way behind on bosses, but absolutely ahead in gear and player kills and PvP. We're keeping it alive, and we're making tournament plays left and right by bringing Ihu Militant down to his knees and zeroing him out. We are going to stop him from getting very far ahead. That is an absolute PvP player. We see him on all kinds of fresh shard servers. So these are some of the greatest players that have been coming out here for this summer tournament series. This is tournament five, and we'll be doing cash cups all summer long. Keep it tuned in to our Discord at discord.gg slash Eclipse Gaming for all the rules, updates, and fun chaotic tournaments. Thank you guys for donating as well to the prize pools. Right now we're trying to lock down a sponsor and we're in discussions with one to do a $1,000 tournament. The details are forthcoming. Keep your eyes open in the Discord. And thank you guys for coming out and making this dream a reality. We talked to Jeremy this morning. We've got SLS in the DMs and in the Discord. So if you have feedback, please put it in the feedback chat. We're looking to formulate a good set of rules for official tournaments which hopefully will come in the future but for now it's all community run and driven so you all are keeping this alive every single day thank you all for tuning in and coming out we've got a player here we cannot let this player get Clive but I also do not want to reset Clive this is Raftalia knocking us off the mount here this was a big play B huge spear hit Big hit there as well. We're getting taken down by the explosives. Going for a little bit of a reset. We need some health. This player's healing as well. Big attack with the spears. Not going to connect. The sunlight is going to wreak havoc on both of us. Madness. Madness. That player's getting hit by the sun. Nice counter. Picking up a 24 there. This player is one shot. Nice counter. We don't have wolf form. We can't chase. We got to be careful. We don't want to get third partied here. That player is absolute. 
But we're too low to continue the Clive fight. I think we're gonna have to pursue and try to kill this player. We will reset them and they won't be able to interrupt the next Clive battle. Let's see if they have wolf form. Picking him up right there. Here comes a wolf attack. Got him with the mace. He's going down. That is a lot of sulfur. That was a big, big pickup for us. Our combat flag is dropping. We're going to heal. Going for Clive there would have been a big mistake, I think. So that is another copper weapon and another set of gear. No, we are maxed. We are maxed while recently in combat with a vampire. That's actually strange. I think they should fix that as well. That should only be while you're actively in combat rather than after you've been fighting. It's going to be very easy to get third partied if you have an additional vampire buff up and running. We are doing very, very good in this tournament, guys. This is a beautiful start for us. Securing a lot of copper weapons. That is going to be gear for our servants as well. Let's go ahead and start saving some of that. Getting plenty of paper. We're going to be doing very well with research here as well. We do need a bit more bone and and grass because we are keeping, we're doing a very good job of maintaining that 85% health threshold like we continually talk about. These are PvP pro progression plays. This is hardcore merciless and dying will reset you so you absolutely need to consistently keep your health above 85% at all times, especially on bosses like we saw right there. The player almost managed to kill us. Despite starting off at lower health because they were able to capitalize on a big stun and the boss is just going to do an immense amount of damage. Here's another player here. This is Coslando. Hitting him for 25. We're going to get taken out here by the bombs. Trying to iframe through it. Gotta, gotta pop a self. Keep our health up. Let's see where Cos goes. Cos is level 25. He's got a horse. Is it faster than ours? That is going to be the deciding factor here. Another player in the back! I can't believe that missed. Oh, we both missed. We're terrible. His horse is faster. I should have had him off the horse there. This player has copper and he's lower health. We're going to chase him for a little bit. Another player. You have players all over Vardaron today. This player is going out into the open. They're trying some new strategies. We're doing good staying on top of them despite the speed differential. Oh, they went up. That could be their castle. We're going to go ahead and pull off. You have players now attempting to kill Clive all the way around the world. This is going to be very hard to kill Clive. We needed that first Clive. This is going to be going for Merciless. That will allow us to get into iron. And having an iron weapon is going to be the difference between life and death in a tournament. The two weapon skills are going to allow us to pop off. Let's see what's going on down here. It's going to be very hard to fight Clive now. You have a lot of players who are all going for Clive. But we're going to try it again, right? Most of these ads are already dead. So we can start doing figure eights. Madness. Madness and stupidity. The mace has a very, very low range on the horse compared to other weapons, especially the spear. So I actually might want to get the spear out just for horse lording and PvPing. Let's see, try to keep ourselves aware of who's around us. We've already made one player mad and they're going to try to come for us.
All it takes is getting knocked off our horse one time by a player. Here comes a player right now, actually. Got him off the horse. That's a big start for us. We got to kill his horse here. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Big Arctic Leap is going to miss. Me versus Cause. Another player might be arriving soon. Let's go ahead and pop a salve. Right? Keep our health up. And then we're going to take these horses. His horse is faster. We're going to take his horse. We're going to try to take a shortcut as well. This is the map awareness coming into play here. Another player just ran away. That could have been the same player. There's, there he is. So cause back at full as well. You have players across the board who are healing. We might need to go for a different boss. Let's see. These monsters might have been chasing this moose actually. We have to kill Cause here, else we're not going to be able to kill Clive. We see him now. He doesn't have a horse. Both of our ults are down. This is going to be a great time to fight. Nice knock. Early lead for him. Nice escape there. He did get his... Uh-oh. I don't know why I can't jump here. Now we're stuck. <laughs> this could be bad. Good frostbat. We can't get hit by that again. Good counter. I thought we countered that. We got one counter here. I think we're losing this fight. We're going to try to leave. We need to go for a reset. More players are coming in now as well. Another player here is Raftalia. Nice pick up on the counter. Here's Raftalia on our side. We're very close to the castle now. We can play this out. Raftalia getting hit in his back. A fallen angel has just been summoned. We got to kill Cause here. The angel's going straight for him. I got to grab my other horse. Let's get out of PvP. Pop a salve. Sounds like two players fighting. I hear a frost bat. Here's Cause, he's back! Raph picking up a counter there. Madness. Madness as soon as he uses his space bar, we're going to try to get him with our ult. Good frost bats. Nice hit there. This is big. Both of us popping our counters. That's him using his space bar. I think we're going to get him with the frost vortex. We just miss. Got him with the shadow bolt in the back. He snared. He's won. His counter just wore off. I got to hit him one time here. No, he's got away because he has wolf form. He's going north. That's the end. That is terrible. We should have got the horse. No, cause one shot. We need our wolf. These players are escaping. He's running north. Where are all my rats at? Got him in the inventory. The 93%. Warrior is just driving us home. That player was one shot. We missed with Frost Vortex. Maybe Arctic Leap is the play. We're going to try to chase Cause down. I wonder how far away he ran. So he's going north. There's not a lot of places to go here, if I'm being honest. He probably went right and then cut right again. Trying to make a weird predict. He's been gone for a while. I assumed he would go away to heal somewhere 
or maybe back to his base, but we actually don't see him, so unfortunately, we're not going to be able to bring Cause down. I think we go for Clive here. Maybe that player lost their horse, though. So much going on in this game. There's just fights every single second. That player got away at level 25. Another player is here fighting Clive. This is IHU Militant. Clive very low. Spider here as well. Oh, my horse. My poor horse. Clive getting low. I think we go for Clive here. We're going to go ahead and salve early. That way is deadly. There are so many players who want Merciless Copper right now. There's problem off his horse. You have at least four or five players here. It's going to be hard to gatekeep this because I want it myself as well. You've got players waiting on the sides. Oh, good hit here. Now here comes the sun as well. This is going to be a very deadly place to live. Humilitant here at level 24 with the horse. Another player. I'm going to get stuck into the vortex. That's huge. Nice hits. The chill on the vortex lasts so long. Here comes the vortex from us. Getting on the horse. It's not going to be enough. This is insanity! I missed my counter! <laughs> Gotta get on a horse here if we want to live. Oh, big hits. We are in trouble now at half. That's going to miss us barely. Clive is starting to get low somewhere. There's Clive. Clive at 25. We got to go for a heal here if we can. I got to drop this PvP flag. The daytime is going to be intense. Here's IHU Militant starting to get low and stuck in a corner. That could be a pickup for us. We're going to salve early. Humilitant on the run. Jacek very low as well. One player going down here. You've got Cause. Cause back on the horse too. This is terrible. I'm a bit low. We're 25% health under right now. Here we might be able to get behind Cause and get him off that horse. But we're getting knocked. Two dead players on the ground right now. Here's Cause off his horse. Another player's just arrived at half. Another player. This is deadly. Another player as well. Please let this be a shadow. <laughs> yeah. 
We have 0.7 blood as well. This is getting absolutely deadly. We do have another set of gear waiting in case something happens. A couple of these players looted and just ran away. I think we're going to let Clive reset, and we got to go back to base and get some health. What an intense fight. I didn't actually manage to get any come-ups from that. Here are some players fighting. Nice knock from the horse. I might die here! The angel! On my back! Yes! The castle saved our life! Absolute- <laughs> Now he's knocking on the door! He's banging! He wants in! Clive is insanity at the moment! What do we got? Wasa Bear, thank you for the subscription. You are a hero. Thank you for all the support, the likes, and the love in the chat, guys. We are popping off, trying to survive. Jason getting killed by the sun. Another player getting killed by the sun. I wanted the loot there, but going for the loot was deadly. We got to get some more salves going as well. Just an invincible Clive right now. This is worse than a Quincy. I don't think we have... Oh, we have some bone on us. Let's go ahead and get some more of these crafted. We can only make two. We did lose the horse, but there are a lot of horses there right now. No one can craft the sun resist potions yet because no one has the alchemy lab. I still have not killed a single boss. What a wickedly wild tournament this is. We're putting in a lot of work though with the shadow bolt. Here's a horse. Oh, that was my space bar. I thought that was someone healing. What is this? An 8.5. This is a terrible horse. Here comes a player. J6, one. Getting him with the shadow bolt. He's one. We're about to get smoked by the sun, though. I'm pulling off. He's dead to the sun. The sun is just too hot. Here comes the end of the sunlight, though. He's gonna go ahead and pick up a kill here on Jacek. He's got a couple gems in a book, so not bad at all. Here's a mist stone. Did anyone kill Clive? I hope not. Clive is still alive. We're gonna grab a horse and we're gonna continue this dangerous, insane battle. You've got a lot of players on respawn cooldown. Gonna wait for my health to come back here. We're only uh, we're down thirteen. I think we just pressure this. I've got a burning desire to Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity in the chat, in the game. You've got so many people at Clive. This is absolutely like a Quincy kill right now. Another player has just arrived. This is Griffith, level 23. Missing on the horse. I think I want to kill Clive in a corner if we can. Maybe stop some of these players from getting it. But for sure, there was about eight players here. Now there's only a couple. Here comes one around the corner. This is free Johnny level zero. Nice counter. It's not going to be enough here. There comes the Arctic Leap. That's not going to save him. We're going to come back around on this side. Maybe he gets blown up here. He is dead. Free Johnny is smoked. That's going to be one less player and one less horse. Got a couple adds now. Try to bring these down. Stay safe. Keep that health above 85%. The adds are respawning all over the place. It's going to elongate this fight. That fallen angel is beautiful. I didn't know how useful it would be, but God, it's great. It has a knockback. 
and it throws magic, so it is a very dangerous thing. It also just forces you to stay away from the player. So I might actually swap out to that ability here. I actually, I don't know. My ability forces people to run away, and if we catch them, it's going to be a six-second chill. It's going to be very hard for them to escape, especially on a melee-centric server with the spell power cut in half by 0.5. So many ads, this is terrible. A lot of those players did get zeroed though, so even though we didn't get the loot, someone else came and got all the loot, so most of those players will not have gear now, and they're going to be very easy to devastate if they come back, just like Free Johnny. We're not going to one-shot them, but we're going to be able to do a lot of damage to these players. Got some ads spawning on the sides, which will actually help us. I think we're going to go for this explosive box really fast. It'll do a bit of damage to Clive. Here's the problem. I think he's level 0 with claws. Not level 0. Gotta be careful. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage to us. That's gonna bring us down by 25%. He just used his attack. We can get him off here. He's coming on this side. Got him. Big hits on him, the adds, and Clive. I think we're going to be able to kill this player. So we're doing a great job gatekeeping. But we're unable to secure the kill for ourselves just yet. Problem is going to take off. He's got plenty of health. I'm not going to pursue this. God, there's so many adds here. Here comes another player. This is Griffith. We're getting him off the horse. Here's Opus as well, getting him off the horse. Oh, that was a great shot, but he's going to get taken off. That's another player going down. I got to be careful, though. We don't have blood, and we don't have any more salves. So many level zeros are here. They're trying to get credit for the kill. The angel is just soloing right now, hanging out. Here comes Clive. I need a horse. To be able to counteract these horse lords. Here's another player. This is problem level 15 now. Gonna knock him off the horse for sure. And get on our own horse. There's another dead player. So the ads are gatekeeping for us. And here's Griffith now. You have a lot of players up in the wings hanging out. Getting him off his horse. Getting him with the shadow bolt. What an uh, intense battle this is. Let's jump away from that. No, the ads are back again. This is just crazy. That's one more horse dead. So the amount of horses that are coming here are being counteracted by all the ads and the players fighting. It's just non-stop PvP everywhere we look. Here's Griffith, level 23. Can we kill Clive? This is the slowest horse we've had. I can feel the disparity. It must be a 8.4 or so. Indeed, an 8.5. Let's try to swap horses just really fast. Maybe we can uh, actually destroy some of these dynamites to kill some more of these monsters. I thought we countered that. This could be bad. Here's a 10.8. This horse is very, very fast. Cause here as well. Another player, level zero, knocking us off our horse. We are very low now. I've got to go. Cause on our back. We have a fast horse. Clive at half. I think we can leave and come back. 
hit some of this dynamite, maybe destroy a player if they're on our back. Back to base once again. Daytime is coming back. We are cycling through it at the moment. This is the longest we've ever fought a boss outside of Quincy. Clive is being gate kept for days at the moment. You have ultimates and total absolute destruction, but we do have a 10.8 horse, so that was a big come up no matter what else happens here. I'm actually going to leave this horse here because that horse is insanely fast. And we're just going to try to grab another horse. So this base is playing a very big role in this tournament for us at the moment. It saved our lives a couple times and also given us access to get rid of some big loots. Going to leave some books here. Looks like that was a Merciless, so that's fantastic. Clive is insanity. You've got a lot of players who have killed Lydia and Wolf and Keely. I'm very behind in bosses, but uh, way ahead in having fun. What a tournament this is. You see that I just see bombs going off, so Clive is still being attacked. And we know that there's a horse just over here, so we'll try to get a horse. Let's see. Our players are jumping off here. There's a player right there. Here's Griffith getting low. That player is going to be unable to get out of this unless they use everything they've got. Big hits on Griffith. If we get a kill here, this is going to be massive. Knocking a player off. No, they're not going to let us get on a horse. We need to get on a horse and chase Griffith down. Killing a copper player would be big right now. Humilitant level 0 hanging out. AK-47 level 1. Cause. Getting low as well. Here's some player. Here's some monster chasing someone. Here's Griffith. He wasted his counter. He's going to knock us off the horse though. Big counter, he's going to waste it. That horse is getting smoked. Humilitant, an excellent PvP -er. He's giving us a run for our money here. Griffith, whoever this is. Another player has just arrived as well. This is getting dangerous. This is a level zero. No, the frostbite in my back. Oh, the, uh, the horse took that hit right there. Oh my god, can someone clip that? The horse, the treant knocked the horse into the hit. That's going to save us. Big 24 on Griffith. We need this copper bad. The counter was dropped. And the space bar. Gonna get one hit off here. Maybe even two. That's two. Griffith is one shot. This could be a copper. It went between the horse's legs. Jumping off the horse here to save ourselves. The horse is frozen. It doesn't mean anything though. Picking up a kill on Griffith. That's gonna be a copper set. Holy crap, he has gear. The Night Soccer. Look at all this crap he has. Merciless. We picked up a Merciless. Let's go. That is actually a big upgrade. Oh no, what just happened? Where's that Merciless at? What? What? what where, where's the Merciless? I dropped it.
that is gear on the ground that we have to leave behind for now. The tree ain't coming out. It's now sunlight. I don't think anyone's going to be able to kill Clive in the sunlight. Not with this many PvPers across the board. We have not been killed yet in PvP, guys. We are going hard today. Thank you for the follows, the likes, and the love. This is a crazy start to the tournament. This is a $100 Merciless Cash Cup. Absolute chaos from the ults. We don't even have time to sort anything, unfortunately. We are in and out of base, backfighting as often as we can be. I think I'm going to leave the horses at base once again. Two, that was two. He actually had killed another player. That is two merciless copper weapons. What do we need to repair? We need a little bit of leather, so we actually can't repair either of these Night Stalkers, but obviously the Night Stalkers was a big pickup for us as well. There's the Merciless. That feels great. Get that out. A Miner's Mace also. Just beautiful plays right now. And a Copper Spear. That player had three Copper weapons on them. What do I need? I need rats. I gotta get some rats if we can so we can make some salve. What an insane tournament this has become. We are picking up gear sets all over the place. Setting these players back. They're gonna have to mine Copper for the rest of their lives at this rate. Let's go. Not making a whole lot of forward progress though, if I'm being honest. We are we do have a lot of stuff for our servants, but not a lot of stuff for ourselves. Here comes a two players. This is AK47 and Boo, both very low level. Let's see, Clive is still alive, so we do not have a Clive kill as of this moment. The sunlight right here is going to be awful, actually. We need to leave and try to find some better sunlight protection. Hopefully there's still some horses left for us to get. Let's go ahead and get some sulfur as well. Big stun. So we are gathering sulfur. We're going to be ready to siege. Players fighting all the way across the sulfur mines right now. This is crazy. I can only imagine Quincy, a player dying up there at the top of my screen. We're going to check it out. Here comes a player on a horse as well. Let's see what up here. This is Spiderweb. Oh, getting shot in the back. That's unfortunate. We are going to steal the horse though. That's another horse for us. This is an 8.1. Got to get away into a nice little corner and go for a heal here. This is looking great. Look at all these horses. We are still in combat somehow. So let's hope that that drops. Go ahead and eat some more hearts. These tainted hearts are doing us wonders considering how much PvP we're getting into. We are unable to drink any monster's little necks. We'll be taking the first break here just a little while in order to do the first giveaway, you guys. Thanks for joining. Exclamation mark giveaway to figure out the details of that giveaway. We've got Dracula's Relics, a base game, and Nitro Discord Nitro to give out today. There's a rat. We need that rat as well. It's going to give us a salve. Got some monsters chasing us. Let's knock some dynamite over. Clive is very, very hard in the sunlight. I'm actually going to maybe take a lot of damage here, unfortunately. Bad play. Here's Spiderweb as well, knocking us off. And this is the sunlight. We're taking so much damage right now. We've got to get out of here. Absolutely have to leave this. Barely able to survive that. There's another player on our back. This could be the end. There's a fallen angel on top of us. It's Raphelia right on our back. He's zero item level though. We have ourselves an enemy 
An enemy of the state, that player is just going only for us. It might be time to call it a day on Clive. There are just so many players here. I think we might have to go for someone else and do something else as well. This is crazy. Let me take a second to look at chat. What are you guys all talking about? Thank you all for coming out and hanging out with us. Nobody's going to have Clive at all. We've got Jacek and so many crazy players. The horse is Zuma and the horse lords are out and about making some plays. I know there's a big big amount of horses down in that corner so i'm going to leave both of the horses there for us each time we bring a horse home is actually going to be a big pickup for us problem getting killed by going for raftalia you have the third parties out and about unfortunately we are going to take some early damage here let's go ahead and drink something as well unfortunately these are pretty low we're only going to be able to get rogue six and three but we need something right this uh anything is going to be better than this tainted blood that we've been sipping on for a while now we're like a, a very poor vampire at the moment that's going to be our 6%, so let's just go ahead and kill this. Going to miss here with the counter. I could have sworn I pushed counter there, but... What's this? Raftalia is here, so we do have a player who's basically specifically going for us as a naked as well. It's pretty funny. Thankfully, we're going to be able to put in a lot of damage on this player. I'm going to go ahead and kill him here just so they, they can't keep uh, getting their health back. No way did that miss. I can't believe that missed. Here's Kiz on our back. Just wait for them to space bar. They do have a copper weapon. I don't know how that hit us while we were jumping. That's actually impressive. Okay, that's actually gonna get us here, unfortunately. Hmm, Arctic Leap does seem better to me than Frost Vortex. Here's Bark as well. So many players, all of the tournament is now at Clive. This is crazy. I cannot believe we've survived through this 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th partying. Here comes Boo. This is a level 0. I tried to animation cancel that and it didn't work. So we're basically just getting stopped from healing right now. Let's go ahead and go further into Clive. That way we might actually be able to... Uh... Oh, he's getting one shot by a dead eye. So these monsters are doing God's work right now. It looks like someone is also fighting Clive. So let's go ahead and heal as fast as we can here. Here goes a player as well. That player's on a horse. Two players on horses here. And we'll go ahead and heal if we can. Here comes Bark. He's stuck right now. Maybe he gets hit by a couple of these monsters. A spear hit there would have been big. Oh. Picking up another rat. That's going to be one more salve. We have a good position here. We need to figure out how low Clive is, though. The nighttime's been going for just a little while. Let's take a look. See a lot of monsters up. It's unlikely that Clive has been killed. There's Clive at full. You just have so many players here. We're going to have to change targets, guys. I don't think we can kill Clive right now. There's just too many, especially level zeros that are going for this. So this looks like one of the last horses at Clive, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and call this. Do we try one more? So many level zeros here. I can't believe trying to get the water canteen just knocked me off my horse. That is wild. That's what we get for trying to loot. That's actually insane bait. 
That is a great way to lure players to their deaths. We're gonna pop another salve. Looks like one more player has just arrived. This is the Rat King Trapula. Big pick up there. He is now one shot. Good Frostbat. I just heard him die as well, so there are just way, way too many players here. Gonna grab this loot just so other players can't take it, and then I think we're gonna call it on this fight. Unfortunately, there are, there is just too many people going for five at the moment. We cannot pick it up. Another dead player right here as well. Eye framing there. Who's this? This is Dunk. Dunk level zero, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe we do go for this. Picking an arrow up in his back. You have so many dead players. We're going to leave him on the ground. This is going to be us going for Clive, guys. I think we have to go for Clive here. There's not a ton of players nearby. You have so many that are zeroed out at level zero, and we've taken up a bunch of copper weapons and sets of gear. This might be our time to finally get Clive down. Fortunately, these horses uh, have now become just very, very slow. All the fast horses are dead in the land. I like the water canteen on the horse. That is really, really good bait. It's going to pull a lot of players off their uh, horse, and that, now we know how to do that as well. Here comes Rafalia, level zero. He's almost getting one shot here. Bark's going to miss with his horse, but we're going to get picked up by a monster. I think we need Arctic Leap. That, that vortex just seems very easy to dodge, if I'm being honest. Mm, I don't know. It's just as easy. Nice hits here from Bark. Pick him up with the Shadow Bolt. He's going to try to get on that horse. He's trying to just use it for an iframe. That's really smart. Big counter. We have to go. He's, he's up here. He's up here. We got to go. All right. That's the end of Clive for us, guys. Clive is uh, impossible. I was hoping more players would have given up by now. Here he comes, actually. I don't know if we can get him with a big hit here off the horse. He's got a faster horse than we do. But we're, we're smarter on the horse. We're smarter and better on the horse. Woof! So close! Wow, we were one shot. If he got us with the Q there, we were dead. He very, very, very well played uh, that horse iframe down there at Clive. This is some new strategies we've never seen before. That was incredible. I was hoping I could maybe turn the horse, but uh, he actually had a fast horse. I didn't know there was a fast horse still alive down there. All right, let's go ahead and put some of these into the brazier, and we'll, we'll turn it off for now. What a battle. We've, we've gotten so many copper weapons, and we still haven't killed a single boss. This is actually kind of terrible. Maybe uh, it's time to go for Grace in the Armor and get some Night Stalker and maybe find ourselves Alpha Wolf as well. Just a wild start to the tournament. We've been kind of wasting a lot of tournament time here, but God, the PvP fights have been incredible. Let's see if he killed my horse. That would have been something I would have done. Uh, he did not kill the horse. Okay, so we still got the horse. All right. No, no, he did kill it. Yeah, he killed or took it. Mad madness. Madness! madness and Thank you all for tuning in and welcome. Alright, we don't want to take the 10-7 out yet. Guys, I want Clive, but oh, we have a 10-7 and a 10-8. Just insane. Alright, we don't want anyone to steal this horse, so... Oh, wait, wait, do we have gear on us? We do, Madness. we have actually a lot of gear Madness on us. And Let's go ahead and uh, bank some more gear. Mostly trash gear, if I'm being honest, though. Um, we don't care about a lot of that. I have just stacks and stacks of copper. Uh, I think we need Keely for leather. Let's go make a pro progression play here, and we'll kill a bunch of tier 1 bosses, guys, and we'll make some moves um, toward getting better. Unfortunately, right now, we are uh, quite quite far behind in boss kills, but it's been a wonderful play here at Clive, but we're going to go ahead and give that up. Just kind of freely drop some random loots here. For like a, a loot pinata at the moment. Yeah. 
Even the level zeros are able to stop us from killing Clive. That is the craziest part. You know what? I think I'm going to Horse Lord Pelora real fast since we're here. And we'll pick ourselves up the better space bar. And the Wolf Snare. The Wolf Snare will be so massive for Clive fights right in gatekeeping. Because it'll bounce off monsters and players and horses. Oh, we got a space bar that. Not fast enough, though. Horse is going to take hits for us. How did the horse not uh, get damaged there? Nice early Pelora. Dodging the be gone. She's going to summon some ads soon. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Thank you all for the follows, the subscriptions, the like, and the love. We're out here today hanging out, getting a lot of stuff done in this tournament. Mostly just fighting players. I don't even know how many players I killed. I know we were like 7-0, but now it's got to be 15-0. We killed or indirectly killed so many players right there. The reason why you really have to kill the adds here is because Pelora will send wolves out and if they get the adds, they're also going to bounce off and get you. I thought we countered that. I was wrong. We are starting to get low. Now is the time to pull off and reset the fight and get her away from her adds as well as salve. Also, we're getting low on salve. We need rats. Oh no, did I, did I full reset Pelora? I sure hope not. The trees foretold your oh, we, we saved that. We saved that barely. Spirits, hear me. Be gone. I believe the ads also heal her. I could be wrong, but it sure looks like they're healing her. That is sunlight. It's going to be hard to do this fight as well. Hopefully we get lucky with some cloud cover. So far so good. We still have our cape as well. Here we go. Both ads are dead. She's going to pull one more. I got to iframe this. We're stuck in a corner. No. No. Draw her away from the ads for a little while. This is becoming a challenging fight. Also, our health is low, and it's hard for us to maintain 85% health integrity right now because we don't have any salves. This is a great rock. We beat her behind this rock many times. Long battle, but this is absolutely going to be worth it. Wolf Snare is an incredible ability, especially in a third-party situation. Be gone. We have her low. She doesn't have any adds up. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Dodging the Begone again. We're doing pretty well with Pelora, and we're way under-leveled. She has 
eight levels on top of us, guys. Remember, this is a tournament server, and so the B-Blood bosses are pumped up. They've got higher health and damage, and so do the normal monsters. That's going to be it. Picking up Laura here is big. We absolutely need to put Wolf Snare on. And the space bar is going to be so big for us this early. Also looks like she dropped something great. So we'll take a look at what that, what that is in just a second. Probably going to go ahead and get some health back as well. Go ahead and go for that health integrity. This has been a crazy tournament. How long has this been going for now? Two hours. This tournament has been popping off. Unfortunately, we are very... I don't know about behind, but uh, it's a very interesting tournament so far. So it looks like another player has managed to get into someone's uh, heart, into their castle. So we'll have to have the admin go ahead and check that out and probably destroy that for them. So if you're just tuning in, it is free to destroy castle hearts at any time. You must protect your castle heart at all costs. Right now, sieges are available for the next two hours. We have chosen the Pelora Illusion Dash until we can beat Clive. We're also going to pick up a lot of Blood Roses here. That way we don't have to come back, right? These Blood Roses are going to be our Blood Rose Bruise, which is going to give us a lot of health potions and give us a step ahead, a big advantage for PvP. And so we're going to go ahead and collect a lot of these right now. And then as soon as we finally kill Clive, we'll get the Alchemy Lab down. We'll get some Siege, some siege Explosives ready to go. And then also a ton of Blood Roses for the Bruise and later in the game for the Potions. That's going to have to be all that we can get for now while the sun's out. Now we're going to make a play back toward base and we're going to see if anyone's killing Clive. Again, it's daylight. So anyone who didn't manage to kill Clive last night is probably not going to be able to do it during the day. You just saw how many players, the sheer amount of players that wanted Clive killed was upwards of 20. There were so many names of Clive, I don't even know everyone that was there. This is a 68 player tournament and it has been full to the brim since launch. Thank you all for tuning in and welcome. To all the new members, I appreciate and love you all. Here's Raftalia coming in here as well. Madness, Madness and stupidity. Thankfully, he w did not manage to get our other boss. Just going to go ahead and avoid him if we can. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out, though. Madness. Madness and stupidity. I don't know how this player just managed to get our horse. That is insane. And the angel on our back. Wow, that player just got our 10-7 horse. Thankfully, we're not too far from base, and we do have a 10-8 at base as well. We are on the way back to base. We're going to put this Blood Rose potions away and all these materials we've gained, but we're looking good. I don't know if the Wolf Snare... Maybe... I don't know if the Wolf Snare does enough damage to knock someone off the horse. I actually can't remember. If it doesn't, that's actually going to be a terrible ability. I probably should have used my space bar as well. That would have done some damage to them, but they were actually running forward, so I don't know how much I could have really done there. Uh, we're going to be getting our servants down here soon as well, guys. On this server, we have a zero conversion ratio time for servants. And you can have up to four, one per tier. So we're going to have a lot of players getting their servants pretty quick. Now, the win condition is a unique soul. And I'm going pretty slow here, but we're going to start trying to get some bosses. As soon as we kill Clive, we're going to be on the come up. And probably we need to go for Quincy soon as well. We probably need a tomb as well, or uh, whatever that thing is that creates rats. I really need some rats. Not having the rats is going to very much hurt us in PvP, so we need stone and bone. I think we don't have enough of either. We barely have any of both. So a smart play here would be to go ahead and farm some of this stuff. Wait, here's some stone. Actually, we have a lot of stone. 
Do we have enough bone? 89 bone. Let's see what we've got in the brazier. The brazier. That is enough for the vermin nest. We don't have enough space in the castle though, so we'll go have we'll go ahead and extend that. Assuming we have there, we have plenty. Okay, so we'll go ahead and extend the base out a little bit, just enough for the uh, this here vermin nest. Uh, this was actually dangerous. Probably should have grabbed some wood. Oh, we don't have enough wood. <laughs> this is very dangerous. Our heart is actually actively exposed at the moment. This was a poor planning right here. Imagine getting zeroed after all that hard work. We still have not died this tournament, so we're doing a good job. Mostly managing the majority of things for us, but uh, we could always do some better work. How much? It's so much lumber. It's lumber and plant fiber. All right. That is way more lumber than I anticipated. So we're going to have to farm quite a few trees. Unfortunately, I do not like harvesting, but this is popping off. Thank you all for tuning in and welcome to the tournament. Exclamation mark IP in the chat if you want to join. It's never too late to join in a merciless environment. As you've seen, some level zeros are able to actually pick up other players' gear sets right now and instantly jump up. What? The plant fibers. My god, the plant fibers. So we actually have enough trees, but we don't have enough fibers. I know I have some in the bank, but since we're killing trees anyway, we'll go ahead and farm some plant fibers while we're at it. I'm going to need plant fibers anyway to farm rats. I love how you need fibers and bones to make the rat thing, and then you need fibers and bones to make salve. So actually, by PvPing very often, you're kind of hurting yourself on mats in a lot of the cases. Here is Raptalia here. They're going to be coming for our heart. It takes forever to activate the heart. So we're going to be able to kill him right here. I do believe. Madness. Madness and stupidity. No way! No way did he get another horse. No way did they get another horse. I can't even believe that. I cannot believe that player just got a, our other horse. That's both of our 10 7s. Totally gone now. That is insanity to me. Missing with the mace just devastated us. He's going to get away every single time at this rate. This that, That's honestly heartbreaking to me that we just lost the two fastest horses in the game. Back to back, no less. I don't know how a level zero could stand in the frost vortex for that long. At least they didn't key our heart down. If, if our heart died there... That would be the end of the tournament for us, probably. I, I'm pretty good about not rage quitting and maintaining positivity, but I don't know. If someone keys my heart, uh, I'd probably just cry in a corner. Uh, we've done so much hard work. We haven't lost a single fight, so we've been doing just really, really good so far. We just have to maintain this. This rat player is probably stream sniping us as well, despite the delay. Or their base might just be very close to us. That's the kind of player we want to siege, so we'll take a look at sieging that player here in just a moment. If we can find where their base is, it would be great to zero them out. All right, there we go. So that's looking good. We've got this up and running. Let's go ahead and see if we can't make some rats here in just a moment. So we need some, uh, some grass and some bone if we have it. The level zero on the come up here. Just bringing us down a notch. It's actually very impressive to see. Um, we need bone. We're going to have one rat here, and I don't think we're going to have enough bone to even make a salve. How much do those cost? It's only 20, actually. We'll have enough. So here's 20, and we'll get one salve. This actually takes a while to do things, but we're going to need that anyway for our rat form, and we definitely need rat form. Just have so much going on. 
You have to look at you have so many players that are unable to key the castle, guys. I'm sorry, we'll have to look into the settings for what went wrong. Um, I put key heart any time, and I thought I, I placed the right hours, but uh, we'll have to fix that tomorrow when we bring the server back up. Thank you all for tuning in and sticking with us. Uh, with this, we do have a little bit of scuff going on right now, but it's not too bad. Assortment of storage shelves as well. Let's go ahead and grab. I think we left some recipes here at base. We'll go ahead and grab those. Let's see as well. Do we have enough gems yet for the ring? We don't. That's actually a level 12 ring, so that's going to be a big item level increase of six. So we do need one more topaz to get that up and running. There's the books. So we'll go ahead and research what we have so far. That's going to be merciless. That's a merciless copper. That is a merciless copper. We don't even need to kill Clive. That is fantastic. Merciless copper. So what do we need for that? We're going to need some gems, some copper, and some planks. And we're on the way to being able to farm iron. This is actually very, very big for us. That's the merciless copper sword. The spear, we've got the sapphires. We just need eight whetstone and four leather. So we do need to kill Keeley or some other players here as soon as we can. <laughs> no Madness. way I scream. That's uh, just incredible. Absolutely outplayed by that level zero twice in a row, back to back. You love to see it and you hate to be part of it. All right, so we're going to bring some grass with us and bones in case we happen to run into another rat. Or uh, we'll just bring our rat from base. Go ahead and get some more blood up and running as well. We do want to kill Clive for the, uh, the space bar. Looks like someone also killed Quincy. Right there, someone's asking in chat, when did you kill Quincy? We probably have someone in iron by now. So I was playing fantastically, but we got bogged down badly. We have leather. Do we have whetstones? We have 15 whetstones. That is merciless copper sword. And we are able to farm iron and cotton. Now might be the time to do that before a lot of players get into tier 2. I think we keep the mace on us. Just in case we need to use the Q to catch up to someone. Also, we don't have a horse. So we got to be careful. I'm probably going to check Quincy for a horse real fast. Or excuse me, Clive. We do have forge flooring as well, or alchemy flooring, so we have a lot of things available to us. We just have to be able to play it correctly. This uh, sword is also going to be magnificent. That's going to be a Q. It's going to be. A, it's going to allow us to make a lot of interesting plays. No one's fighting Clive, and I don't see a horse, so we might not be able to find a horse here. There's another rat as well. That's nice. I don't see any horses, so this was a bad play. But we can also gather the, the sulfur if we can reset some of these mobs that are on us. Maybe even just kill some, to be honest. We do need some blood. This is going to be 5% warrior, so not a lot. But we now need to make slow progression plays. I need to go kill Keeley. And I need to get iron and cotton. So now that we have Merciless, we're actually in a pretty good spot. Um, you know what? I don't see Clive, so it looks like someone might have actually been able to kill Clive. So Clive did finally die. We gatekept for ages, and it wasn't enough. Just had way too many players here. The last player to leave is going to get access to Clive in that scenario, so someone, whoever's persistent, is going to be able to do that. Nope, taking both of those to the head. That's bad. Let's go ahead and do our little reset here. Trying to get used to this ability. I don't use it that often, but compared to nothing, it is going to be the right play here. 13% rogue is going to be a little bit better than 5% rogue, or 5% warrior. And now we're coming up into more sulfur. Does look like 
the mace is the correct play Man, here, despite Merciless being a bit higher item stupidity. level. Here's another player here. We're getting kind of low, so let's go ahead and heal real fast before this player gets on top of us. This is a level zero. We're going to be fine. Alright, we're just going to leave before we get ganked, honestly. We've got a good bit of loot from here, and we've got the Merciless. All we need is a horse now, and we can go kill Tier 1 bosses. So likely there's going to be some players now in Tier 2, so we got to be cautious of that. But we're in a really good spot to pressure now and move forward. We need Alpha Wolf, Keeley, Rufus, and Grayson, and all of those should be theoretically pretty fast kills once we get a horse and once we get out and about. I still can't believe that that player took everything from us. What a magnificent play from that level zero. Picking up some more sulfur as well. So we do need to kill Clive also just for the sulfur. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, just for the recipe for sulfur so we can siege. So sieges will be available for another hour. I don't know if we're going to have it in us to be able to get that siege off, but we will see. If we can even siege one top tier player and zero them out this tournament, that is going to be a step in the right direction. So we have very little bone. We'll try to pick up some bone on the way because we now have three rats. This is going to be us running to get a horse once again. <laughs> it's crazy how much time you lose. If you lose your horse in tier one, you are very much set back. And that player took both of our best horses. Just crazy. Wait, where am I? Sorry guys, making the wrong move here. We do have the Sun Resistance Potion, but since we're not in PvP and we're not killing bosses, we probably don't need that for the moment. Some more sulfur as well. Alright, I'm probably going to take a break here in just a few minutes, guys. We'll make a, we'll make one good run at bosses, and then we'll do the first giveaway in the chat. I'm going to be streaming for a while today. I want to really pop off and get my stone castle built, and I also want to start gaining access to siege golems and try to start pressuring some bosses. We do want to unlock rat forms, so we can try ratting Octavian and Quincy. Uh, I'm sure there are tons of players right now who have been fighting at Quincy, very similar to how that just reacted and operated at Clive. So we'll see Madness. how it goes. Madness and stupidity. Just an incredible start to the tournament for us. A little bit of a slowdown here, especially with the loss of the horses, but we're going to try to bring it back. And thankfully, we still have not died yet, so no matter what, we're ahead of a lot of players. Also, we saw in chat a lot of people were getting their hearts keyed. So there are some players who are going to be absolutely zeroed at the moment. Man, Here's a 54% creatures. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. That's going to be sun resistance and movement speed as well as damage resistance. So this is going to be nice for us. Also giving us the bones for the salves. Got to keep the salves up and running. Almost back to get our horse here. Just absolute loss. And the fact that we don't have Alpha Wolf um, originally was fine, but now it is coming back to bite us. We need one more Topaz as well for our ring. That's going to give us six item level. We will be level 32 
And now might be the time for us to actually go and get iron and cotton before a lot of players are in tier 2. So I might consider making a very, very crazy play right now and go ahead and going to get cotton. Right, we'll get a bunch of stacks of cotton. We don't have bear form yet though, so it's going to be hard for us to drop those stacks. Madness. But that would Madness be a good time to take a break stupidity. and farm. So maybe we kill Rufus and then we get cotton? I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to consider. The thing is that we're already up in tier 2 and I'm going to need that cotton. And we could easily kill Beatrice right now as well, and probably get the loom up and running, and then we can kind of just skip straight into Hollow Fang as soon as we get our Quincy kill. So there, there's just so much theory crafting and routes that players can take. It really is impressive to see. We also managed to pick up a Militia Helmet from somewhere, so we did loot a Tatters of the Undead Cloak and a Militia Helmet, probably from other players. We've been winning a lot of PvP fights today. Eighty-one percent rogue. That is beautiful. We're actually gonna fight this here. Taking a lot of damage though, right off the rip. There's the eighty-one percenters. We just gotta keep that one alive. Eighty-one percent rogue. That means each space bar is going to be a massive critical hit on our left click. This is going to be incredible for PvP. This is the second time we have had an absolutely amazing rogue drop for us. Need a couple more bone here in order to make our next salve, though. Got to remember that that corner blocks us. We actually ran into that exact same corner earlier. On 10 something. 8.6 here. Not going to cut it. Yeah. 8.8. .8, also not going to cut it. Let's take a look and see if we can't find ourselves a horse over here at the farm and then maybe the racetrack next door. Got to kill some hounds for bones as well and probably these cows. Ten point one, that is beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and take this ten point one and we're gonna see what we can get into today. Let's see, I think we do wanna go for cotton and then we can just build our base or maybe, I don't know, it's so hard to decide. There's a lot of routes and options that we could take here, guys. I think I'm actually gonna head back to tier one though. Tier one is going to give us Rufus. We do, if we're gonna be gathering, we do wanna be gathering in style with some panache. So we want the speed boost. We want the Berserk ability from Rufus. So let's go ahead and go across tier one like we originally planned. We're going to try to kill Grayson, Errol, and a lot of other monsters. There is a 100% rogue. We are back. We are competitive right now. This is crazy. Don't, don't you do it, Golem. Don't you kill that horse. 100% rogue. We're going to be doing so much damage. Now is the time to get into some PvP. Let's see who we can run into. Let's take a look at all the bosses. Let's take a look at all the bosses. We'll get some chests and we'll definitely dive into PvP as soon as we can. This is going to be incredible. 100% rogue. I hear someone fighting the boss. This might be another kill for us.
This is Black Blood, who we fought earlier, but it's going to be dangerous to pressure into that arena right now. We're going to swap to Fallen Angel, and we're going to drop the Fallen Angel inside of that. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Great job picking up the invulnerability here. But we see it. Nice job there. This is Black Bud, level 27. He's doing great. Here comes our Fallen Angel. Let's see what we can accomplish with that. Nice Wolf Snare. Just doing an immense amount of damage to him. The Angel is countering us though, unfortunately. Another player coming. That's a kill for this player. We'll see how this goes. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Bow, oh, Night Stalker boost. That's big for us. Here he comes. He's going to miss. We're going to jump off. Another player just arrived as well. We've got to get home. Where am I? I don't even know where I'm at right now, if I'm being totally honest with you guys. I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Let's go ahead and hide out here. Where are my salves at? They're not on the bar. Put him on the bar. We'll see if we can get lucky and get some healing off here. What a fight this is. That player had Copper Axes, so another Q ability for us, as well as some Night Stalker gear. We can't die here. We have a lot of stuff on us. Woof. What a play. The horse lording is absolutely real from that player. We got to get back there and get on the horse, but that was a big kill. We still need all the bosses, though. We have a lot of loot now. Probably just going to drop some of this on the ground, though. It's nothing too, too crazy. We're going to try to get the Servants up too. We have so much Copper from killing these players across the tournament so far that we're absolutely going to be able to get a Throne down as well as quite a bit of Servants up and running. And like we said earlier, one of the rules for this tournament is a zero conversion time on Servants. That spacebar is playing havoc right now, though, because we don't have Clive. The illusionary dash is fantastic. It's going to be a teleport as well as a refresh when you push spacebar again. We also, after spacebarring, have the left click of, uh, excuse me, available to us to 100% crit. So let's take a look at what we got. This is a 10.2, so we actually traded out for a faster horse. It's going to be very hard to horse Lord Grayson. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. I'm just going to leave the horse up here in this corner. Going to go ahead and pop the ult. You mostly want to save that for PvP, but we're going to use it here to clear a bit of the field. Job. Am I 
Doing good here. We're bringing Grayson down quick, guys. This is going to be our ploy here. We're going to try to just go to so many Tier 1 bosses, and we're just going to clear out everything that we've mistakenly missed. Um, we made some interesting plays for this tournament, but there is the first boss dead for us. We also have something Tier 1 up here, and this is going to be our first Merciless Night Stalker recipe. So we're making some pro progression plays right now. We're hanging out. We did get a horseback. That is Merciless Night Stalker gloves and a Merciless Copper Mace, which is my favorite weapon in the game at the moment. The mace is just so deadly. So we can go home and craft the Merciless Mace. That will also help us gather iron significantly quicker. Just making very big plays right now all the way across the board. So we are going to go home. Um, and we're going to take these recipes home with us. That way we're stopping other players, right? We can't let anyone else get Merciless Copper. We're also going to take a look at Clive and see if there's some level 20s or 30s fighting Clive. And we'll try to get a big kill on them. Also looking for gems. We're one gem short of six item level bonus, which is going to absolutely help us kill all kinds of bosses. By the time we get around to killing Quincy, we are going to be level 40, I would say, at this rate with Merciless Night Stalker. Of course, all we need is a big Keeley kill, and then we will have Frostbat. We're probably going to swap our counter out for two Frostbats and Wolf Snare, and we're just going to be stopping players from getting away and staying on top of them with our melee abilities as much as possible. It's amazing how many players have been at Clive today. So let's take a look if anyone's fighting him right now. I don't see or hear anything, but there's one player right there. You have a lot of level zeros who are just trying to get access to the boss by sucking their necks, and you're going to have the same thing at Quincy as well, and Octavian. This is tournament play, rat stratting, and just intelligent gameplay from a lot of these players. Someone just went by on a horse as well. They're knocking on the door. They're hanging out. Plenty of Merciless Night Soccer. We still don't have very much leather, though, so we are absolutely going to have to go for a boss sooner than later. Look at all of these pieces of gear. We're doing so, so well. Here comes the sun, so we're going to pop the sun resist potion as well, and we're going to be ready to go out and into the world. Thank you all for joining the giveaway. We have about 100 players in the giveaway. We'll be doing two giveaways, if not three today. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back in just a moment. I'm going to do the first giveaway here in just a moment, guys, so be prepared. It's coming your way. I'm going to go ahead and draw it now, and then I'll announce it uh, in a few minutes. That way you guys can all see it at the same time. So the giveaway is open, and I'm about to draw it shut, and we'll be giving away Dracula's Relics DLC this first time, and then the V Rising base game next time. Thank you all for joining. Lexi, you have won this drawing. Lexi, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out. You are the winner of the tournament. I'm going to lock it for now, and then we'll open it back up in just a little while for the next giveaway. Thank you guys so much, and welcome to another Eclipse Gaming stream. I am Strange Religion, and this is a Merciless Chaotic Solos Cash Cup.
these vampires? What is this? Searching for music for your next video? Then you Amazing new music added. Good day, vampires. Welcome to another V Rising tournament advertisement. This is going to be the June 18th to the 19th Merciless Solos Chaotic Cash Cup. The prizes are $50 for the Soul of Solaris and $25 for the Winged Horror and the Soul of the Behemoth. This is going to be a very intense tournament with some insane rules. This is only for competitive players and those looking to make a name for themselves and zero out the competition. All ultimates will be unlocked off of spawn, so you're going to be seeing Arctic Leaps and Fallen Angels all the way across Farbane Woods and Vardaron. Alpha Wolf isn't going to stand a chance. Now there's only a 15 minute PvP protection timer, so you're going to have to make a snap decision on getting that base down or trying to go for Keeley or Clive. We will have golems announced in the server, but they won't be shown on the map. You only have one castle heart. This is a solo cash cup. The most important part of this tournament is that you can destroy someone's castle heart for free. You must protect your castle heart at all costs or be eliminated. The harvesting rate will be 1x for day one and at server open, the siege window will be available for the first four hours. That means you're going to have players trying to get explosive boxes to burst through your wood walls and break your heart, eliminating you from the tournament. Your base must be tactical because the territory per tier is going to be 30, 40, and 50, finally ending 60 at max. So you're gonna have very small tactical castles. Make sure you're not building near cliffs. If players get into your base, they're going to be killing your heart for free. On day two, this is a two day tournament, the harvesting rates will be double in order to make sure you get stone bricks and scourge stones so you can get some golems going in order to siege. Now, this other rule is very chaotic and important. The servant conversion time is zero. You will instantly convert NPCs into servants and you can have one, two, three, and at final tier, four servants. At the end of day two, we will have a two hour siege window where all players will be sieging each other, trying to gain control of the unique souls and win this tournament. Having a unique soul shard in your base at the end of Sunday night's two hour siege window will guarantee you part of the $100 cash prize pool for this two day chaotic tournament. Can't wait to see you all there. The details are going to be below the YouTube video in the show more section. We've got the discord at discord.gg slash eclipse gaming with all the rules and breakdowns. I'll see you for the next V Rising video and tournament series. This is tournament five in a summer long cash cup competitive scene. Thank you all for tuning in and have a good one. All right, guys, we are back. I just wanted to check on the health and life of the server. We have a full server right now, so players are still trying to get into the server. And like we mentioned earlier, it's never too late to join in a tournament like this. You can always come back. Here comes a Blood Moon with 100% Rogue. This is going to be beautiful. Let's get out there. We're going to be doing so much critical damage on our space bar. This might actually be the time for us to kill Clive as well during the Blood Moon. Um, we'll see how it goes. You have dead players here, so something has already happened. Gonna grab some Night Stalker there. Unfortunately, we might lose our horse, but uh, it did work out in our benefit here. Let's see if there's Clive. There's Clive. Let's go ahead and make a play for Clive right now. 
do have a player behind us, so we'll see how this goes. Getting knocked off the horse here could be deadly. This is Raftalia. They are going to knock us off the horse. Dropping the angel here. Oh, the explosive almost got us. Might be able to get them there with the wolf snare. I think we lost the horse, unfortunately. We might just have to take this fight on the ground. What a battle this has become to kill Clive today. No cat, please get out of the way. No cat, no bad cat. Holy hell, I can't see. Man. Madness and stupidity. Thank you for the follows, the likes, and the love, guys. Once again, this could not be possible without all of you. So thank you for coming out here and supporting the stream and the tournament. That is us getting pulled in by the trapper. This could be very, very bad here. I think we're going to have to do a full reset. Unfortunately, we don't have enough bones for a salve, and we don't want to be wasting 100% blood here. We just cannot kill Clive today. This player is on our back every single second. And we're getting low, so I think we're going to have to drink some of the 100% blood if we want to continue fighting here. And I think that I do. So this is unfortunate that we have to go through this blood. It is what it is. That is going to be an automatic critical hit coming off the space bar. A little bit longer and we'll get that angel back. Ooh, no. Here comes Raftalia again. We gotta stay on top of him here. Thankfully he's level zero. These monsters are just gonna do immense damage to him. So it does look like he died earlier. And we have the Angel again, so if we get into some PvP, we can rely on the Angel. I'm starting to like that ability. I thought I would be using Frost Vortex mostly as a PvE and as a kind of a gimmick to kill a lot of, of, of PvE monsters at a time. But uh, we're doing our best here, and we're popping off. Here we're going to get lucky. The dynamite is going to come in here, and I think we're going to be able to trap Clive inside. That's going to do quite a bit of damage. We had to take this fight to the ground because the horse got killed. Here comes another player as well. This is Raptalia again. Oh my god, we just took two arrows to the head trying to pursue him. You can see how a low-level player can absolutely kill you in a setting like this. No, that could be the end of us. Here comes the angel as well. Another player has just arrived. This is Dunk Scrubs at level 10. I need the angel. That's Raptalia going down. Dunk is on our back here. I think Dunk wants Clive. Another player as well. It's Nora at level 24 and a Horse Lord has just come in. I have to go for a reset. I can't uh, I can't afford losing our merciless copper here. Here's a rat. Can we make a salve? We can make one salve to salvage some of our blood. There's a horse as well that's going to be big. What how how long is this monster going to chase me for? 
A minor sun resistance brew. That's going to be a big recipe for us. Let's take a look. Here's Dunk Scrubs back again. And Nora. Not going to be able to full heal here. We are in combat, unfortunately. I, I used that salve too soon. Looks like Clive has not reset, though. So maybe we go for Clive at half health. Here's Dunk on the other side. Clive is still alive at 20. So many players are trying to suck up this kill from us. Here's Aura. We got to play this perfectly. That is not going to be perfect at all. And Trapula. And we're getting hit by a monster here. I've got to leave. I absolutely have to reset here. Or we're dead. Maybe able to get some health back here. Two players up top fighting. Here's Cl Clive is back. Clive, no. Clive, no, please. The plays and the outplays are all over the place right now. I, f I feel like I'm the Man, only player who's been fighting Clive today and everyone else is just here to suck it up and gain part of the fame and fortune. Here comes my angel, I need some help. I need some help to drive these players away while we finish Clive. Here's Raftalia as well. Angels for angels. I don't even know whose angels is whose. Got Trapula. As another angel. Everyone's using the angel. Oh. Oh no, please. That's one more player dead. Here's Clive. Who's this over here? Here's a player. It's a level zero. We can't let them have this. Here's Aura. That's another player dead. We're doing a great job gatekeeping this. There it is. There it is. Come on. Here comes Aura and Nora. We let a couple players get this. We're going to try to go north here and steal this horse. We need these recipes as well. Raftal, you're getting smoked by the death timer there. We have a 1.5 death timer reset. That's going to be us just heading home here, guys. We're on our back as well. Let's get this dynamite. There's no dynamite there. That could be bad. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a corner. We are absolute right now. Yeah. 
This could be us getting home! That's us! We made it home! We did it! Let's go! That's Clive! And safety home! Holy hell! They're all over us! Players all the way across the world were infamous. That was former champion Aura. M managing to outplay them there and escape. And an escape is always a win. Also, the minor sun brew is going to be magnificent. We did manage to get away with that. 100% blood. I'm mostly going to have wasted because we just don't have enough bones to get some rats going and some rat salves. What an incredible tournament this has been for us so far. Let's go ahead. We don't have very much Man. paper. Madness and so, stupidity. wait, wait, we have two papers here. So we've got some paper. We already have some sulfur up and running. Let's take a look. What else we have? We need to go kill Keeley. So we can finish our Night Stalker. <laughs> we still need one more Topaz. One more Topaz only. And we would have plus six item level. Would have made that fight a lot easier. Our pants did break and we are out of leather. So we're going to go ahead and, and downgrade to normal night soccer and we'll leave these pants at home for now. What an incredible tournament. What do we have here actually? We need four leather, four copper, and four coarse thread. We actually have exactly what we need to fix these pants. So we are doing a great job. And we are on a come up. We just need a little bit more of this and that. The tournament is absolutely going insane right now, though. And you have players Madness. all over the world Madness that are different levels. Stupidity. Come on in, guys. It's never too late to join this tournament. There we go. We've got some uh, our Merciless Night Stalker fixed. Let's go ahead and uh, look to leave the base and make some more pro progression plays. What do we have here? Just a lot of broken materials and a lot of random stuff in our inventory. Let's drop all this. We'll leave this at home. That is going to be our sulfur being turned into sulfur there. That is huge. Let's see what time it is. It is 1.20. I don't know if we have enough time to siege anyone. But if we did manage to siege someone and get a heart down, that would be the end of a player. There's some paper. Let's see what we have. Go ahead and strategically sort all this. We barely have any bones. And we don't have any rats. But let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and get... Also, we can now make uh, sun resistance potions. So let's go ahead and see what it's going to take to make sun resistance potions. Here we go. We now have access to the alchemy lab. That's going to be 12 sulfur. So it's going to be quite a lot of sulfur. And then we're going to need sulfur and planks and whetstones for bombs. We might just have enough time to siege someone here. Alright, I'm going to try to kill one more boss and maybe grab some bones, and then we will be right back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't want to leave. Wait. Let me think about this, guys. 100% rogue blood. I think we left a horse here. Another player could have gotten the horse, but we do need to check. That way we don't have to walk all the way back to tier 2.
There's a 75% warrior. We absolutely need that. Let's see that we might have time to grab this here. <clears throat> Even if we take quite a bit of damage, we're going to be okay. Let's just go ahead and leave. And I think we'll just drink a little bit of this. Unless we can get some bones, right? Let's kill some creatures and grab some bones. And that would actually save us from having to drink any of this 100%, excuse me, 75% blood. We've had amazing luck today with blood all the way across the board. Just fantastic drops. And I have to guess that a moose will have quite a lot of bones on them. It's so fast. Even while snared, it's still faster than me. There we go. Give me some bones. That didn't have bones? That That is poor, poor planning from SLS, guys. Can we get some, uh, some emotes in the chat for just being unable to have salves at all this game because we never have any bones? We're way behind in so many aspects. I'm going to go just go ahead and have to drink some of the 75% blood, unfortunately. And now we need to make big plays, guys. We have to go kill some tier 1 bosses. Now we have to do some incredible things. There is Dr. Dexter, another player from the tournament series, so that would probably be a good player to raid. I think we're going to head home really fast um, and just make the alchemy lab. If we can get some siege uh, some siege explosives down, we can still siege, so cash flow PvP should absolutely be on right now. Let's see what time it is. We've got 30 more minutes on the siege window, so we can hit one player. I'm probably going to hit uh, one of the tournament champions, so we'll, we'll be looking to hit someone like AK or Aura or Dr. Dexter or Boonda or Mouse or any of those really high tier players. But unfortunately, uh, we're still not ready for the Alchemy Lab just yet. Um, it is going to take a while to make this. Probably what we would want to do is make a second furnace, and then we would be able to pressure getting a lot more sulfur ready all at once. Still no bones. No bones and no rats. We need bones to make rats, and we need rats to make salve, and we need bones to make salve. So we're just stuck in a zero-sum scenario right now, but we have to get a horse in order to push forward. We still don't have Alpha Wolf or Keeley, but we're going to try to remedy all that right now. We're, if we can just stay away from PvP, which seems to be impossible for us, especially because I see someone up here fighting Clive. So we're going to go for someone fighting Clive at the moment. Let me just finish this monster off. There's a horse as well, so that's going to be fantastic for us. Here's Nomicide. Nomicide Man. fighting Clive. Clive at half. This could be us getting a whole other copper set. Man. That's 30 Man. damage there. Man. Barrier. This player has already killed Quincy, but it's not going to be enough. He's going to get another horse. I don't, I don't know how that he just hit us right there, if I'm being honest. Clive is at half here. Got him. Got him as well. We were on the other side of the barrier there. Here comes another player. Here's another player as well. This is problem. We have several players right now on the run. That's one player going down. We hit the dynamite. It's not going to stop problem though. Ah, no way. No way. We're getting smoked at the moment. Holy heck. We got to heal. Here comes this other player. Maybe we get the dynamite box. He's on the other side of his horse. This could be very bad for this player. Not going to get hit by this Arctic Leap. Force him into Clive. Big hit there of 30. No!
Here's Dr. Dexter coming back now as well. We absolutely have to get a horse and we have to leave. We uh, Honestly, we should stop PvPing. These level 20s aren't actually giving us very much. Oh, he's level 20. He was actually faking how much stuff he had. That's going to be a nice counter there from us. Get him with the wolf snare here. Pulling Clive as well could be big. Madness. Madness and stupidity. That's a freeze! This could be the de this could be death! B push shift to jump, baby! This is incredible. Every time we're at Clive, it's non-stop PvP. We've got a nose for it. Here's a horse. That's what we came here for. It's a 10-4. I think we leave. There's a player on our back as well. They're going to chase us. Another player coming in. They're going to miss. Good hit. Not going to be enough. Madness. Madness and stupidity, guys. What a tournament this has been. Just absolutely crazy plays. Please jump in. You see so many players that are just starting and so many players that have been zeroed out and they're coming back from the edge of defeat and they're able to get things done and have a good time. It's never too late to join this tournament. Here comes our alchemy lab. There it is. That is beautiful. We also have eight unsullied hearts, so we can be looking to go ahead and get ourselves a couple of greater blood essences. So now we're just going to need blood roses, morning lilies, and water-filled canteens, and sulfur planks and whetstones for the bombs. I don't think we're going to be able to actually craft enough today to get this done. We do have enough whetstones. Almost. We're four whetstones shy, so just so much going on here. We still have not died in this tournament, which is fantastic. That player just got their heart keyed, and they also asked about starting fresh. What a crazy tournament this is. Thank you all for tuning in and joining us. This is the $100 Merciless Solos Cash Cup, and it is chaotic as can be. Oops, we wasted quite a bit of blood there. All right, let me see what we need to do here. We can basically just leave base. We've got the horse. We now need to go kill bosses, guys. I know I've been saying that, and I get distracted very often, um, and it almost always happens that way, but uh, here we go. Should we get the, uh, why don't we get the blood press down as well? Just to make some things happen. So that's going to be planks and stone. How much, how much planks is that? So 12 planks. We have so many planks. We've got so many planks and so much wood. We're, we're just doing fantastic things right now. Here's some water filled canteen and some blood roses as well. I think we might have dropped our morning lilies on the ground. Or we really didn't have that many. Oh, we do have some. Okay. So we can actually make some things. The alchemy lab was a good call. That's definitely going to be some sun resistance potions. We're going to need that for PvP fights. And we'll just leave some of this stuff um, inside of here for now. And then we wanted planks and stone, but I'm not sure if we have enough stone, unfortunately. We will go ahead and uh, grab some stone really quick. Thankfully, we don't need that much. Just a little bit. And we're making very short work of it here with our Q and our spacebar. All of these abilities is going to be... Oh, I didn't notice that tree in. Maybe it would be worth it to kill this tree in. I, I don't know. Oh. Probably not. We're not going to kill that. A rat would be really nice as well if we could get a random rat to drop. Here's our blood press. So thanks, guys, for telling me to organize the castle. I think we're doing a little bit better today. It's not perfect by any means, but we've been getting into a lot of fights, and we have a lot of excess gear just kind of laying around at the moment. There's our Unsullied Hearts. That's going to be beautiful. We still need one Topaz in order to get plus six item levels, so we need to go for that as well. I think we've needed that for probably the last hour or so, so we definitely want to grab that. So here we go. We're going to kill some bosses. Hopefully get that one topaz that we need and a little bit of grave dust and we'll be rocking 
into a 12 item level ring. So we're in a great spot in the tournament. It seems like we're average. It does look like some players managed to kill Quincy. They probably fought for hours just like we did at Clive. But you love to see just the sheer amount of players that are out in the world right now getting things done and making plays. It is non-stop PvP today. You've got admins as the eyes in the skies, making sure there's no teaming, racism, or cheating or exploiting going on. And also they're filming. So please submit all your films, clips, and pics inside the Discord and we'll be making highlight reels as the tournament progresses. This is a two-day tournament. A 24-hour only uptime for the server. Look at all of these castle hearts all over the map. We are now back out in the world. I've been living almost exclusively. Look at how little of the map I have developed in three hours, guys. We've gone almost nowhere, and we've fought absolutely everybody. I don't know if fighting is the key, right? We're not really getting very far ahead, but we're having a great time anyway, and we're smashing a lot of players. Non-stop PvP. I'm going to go ahead and kill Grace and the Armorer again so we can get one more Merciless Night Stalker recipe. He is up. You're approaching me with those scrap weapons? Ha! I've got the tool for the job. Don't stop me, Hammer! You out. I like this uh this angel as a boss killer as well. He just does immense damage to bosses. Look at that. He's going to knock him back. I think he takes aggro as well, if I'm not mistaken. It sure looks like Grayson wants to kill the angel, and he does. So this is actually a fantastic, really, really awesome um, play here to fight bosses with the angel. I'm getting very low on health, though. i got to be careful here. Alright, that is going to be a 100% drop rate on Merciless Night Stalker. So we want to kill this boss a couple times, and soon we'll actually be going to level 40 before we even leave Tier 1. So as soon as we get Keely dead, we are going to have just a wonderful amount of loot and items to process. Still, we don't have any rats, so we were just having to suck all of our blood dry, unfortunately, every single time, and then just eat these kind of basic little tainted hearts. So we are going to be mostly a frail player today. I would be very curious to know what other players have. Here's some players showing up right now on my back. This is Black Blood. We did fight him earlier. This looks like it's going to be another great fight. I'm going to go ahead and finish healing here, right? Maybe he jumps off the top ledge. That Treant's aggro, he jumped down here. We're using the map awareness to follow this player. There he is. That is going to be a freeze. That is unfortunate. We also do not have our ultimate, so we have to be careful here. We can use the wolf snare to snare him. See, it's going to jump off the Treant and hit him. Let's see who has less health here. I think we're going to pursue this fight. Getting hit by the treant there probably would have killed us. Black blood is full. So we're actually going to pull off. Uh, I don't think we can win this fight. Very surprised he didn't pressure that. He did a great job there with Arctic Leap. Catching us off guard. But we did kill Grayson. So we're just going to go ahead and move on now, guys. We're going to heal up to full. And then we are going to head over for the first time, do something else. I really want to kill Rufus, so we're probably going to go... Um, honestly, a Nikolaus kill would be good as well. We need to just full clear all the tier 1 bosses right now. I need to kill Alpha Wolf. I need to kill Keeley. And I probably need to kill Rufus. So we're going to go hit all three of those bosses, and then I'll be taking a very short break. Maybe doing another giveaway as well. We have a lot to give away today, so thank you all for tuning in and joining us. And I appreciate everyone in YouTube as well, complimenting and constructively criticizing across the board. You guys, welcome. Matt, it's great. We've got a three-hour, you know, a three to four-hour world record speedrun of Octavian. 
And here at the tournament, I I've gone nowhere in three hours. It's just been absolutely non-stop PvP. We are Clive's boyfriend, stopping a lot of players from progressing. There's a castle decaying, so someone uh, honestly probably got smoked already. We're going to go ahead and stop in Copper Mine as well, just in case we can get a big PvP kill here. Um, and gain a whole lot of copper, but it's not looking good. And it looks like someone also just cleared out all the copper here and all the chests. So we'll go ahead and leave. Probably take a look at Nikolaus and see if anyone's up there. We'll check Nikolaus, we'll check Quincy, and then we'll make our way over to Keeley. I hope we get really lucky right now and someone's going to be killing Nikolaus. I'm sure we have tier 2 players by now if some players have already killed Quincy as we saw. All the chests are looted so someone's getting grave dust. They're making rings. Nikolaus is alive and level 37. I'm not going to pressure him just yet. I think that would be a bad play and it would take too much time. We'll wait until we get our ring, so we'll at least be level 36 when we go up there. Probably also be getting Merciless Night Stalker. Quincy's closed on this side. Oh, wait. Did, oh, I didn't take any of my sun brews. That was bad. Alright, so Quincy's open. Let's go ahead and take a peep at the old Quince Master. Uh-oh. We are about to burn. Oh, we're burning bad. Here comes a player. That's Nora. We got a big incapacitate. Call on the angel. Maybe a little bit too soon. Maybe premature, but it is going to give us time to heal. Take a look at the old Quince Master. This is where the majority of gatekeeping happens. Lots of plant fibers, lots of horses here. And Quincy is unfortunately dead. So we, we missed this. Look at how many horses are here. This is incredible. This is going to be a good spot for us to hang out and get our health back as well. So Quincy's died at least once, probably twice. But now we're going to go ahead and head over and maybe go for a Keeley and then probably a Rufus. And then that'll be basically it for us for Tier 1. So some players have already progressed at this point. Past Tier 1, they're going to be going for Iron and Cotton. So the PvP fights are going to get even more hectic and chaotic. MJK and Mostafi, thank you for the follows. Operative Azriel, thank you as well. Vicious Darth, a massive subscription. Bills each world as well with a sub. Thank you guys. You are literally supporting this beautiful game and my community as well as the tournament scene. We need four leathers, so we definitely want to be looting around Keeley in order to fix our item here. We did lose quite a bit of health. We lost about 30 health from not having the chest. Yep, that's 31 health. Here's Nora. Missing the counter. That's going to give us a good opportunity. Small hit there through the wood. Also, it feels like we're stuck. Definitely got stuck for a little while. Nora's going to pressure back into Quincy. Good counter, but the monsters hit him first. Big 26 as well. No, oh, come on, brother. Oh my god, the sheer amount of damage I'm taking right now from these monsters is insane. Yeah. 
Not able to capitalize on the Nora kill there, but we're going to come back around. That player was 27, so likely they've got some Night Stalker as well. So we've mostly just been upgrading off other players. This is a merciless full loot server, so getting a kill is going to put you very, very far ahead or set you very far back. I don't think Nora could have gone too far, so we're going to take a look south and wrap around and then make our way toward Keeley and see if we can't get a player. Obviously killing up a level 32 player as well, or really any player in the game, is going to be a big, big turnaround for you. You're going to get into all of their gear. So we are going to be looking for some PvP fights, mostly with higher level players, if possible. There's a water well and some chorus thread. This looks like a lot of destruction happened here. So here we go to Keeley. You've got players with bases on both sides of Keeley. So the Keeley play was a smart play for a lot of players early in the game. You only have one Castle Heart. This is three hours. Here's Rygun. We've fought him before many a time on many servers. He's probably going to put his counter up here, so we're not going to hit him. There it is. We're baiting out the counter. We're getting so good at that. He's going to miss with the first frost pad. This player has killed Keeley. I don't think he has his counter yet. There's the counter. Got him again. I think we have time. Five seconds on the counter, maybe. Good ult. Dodging there with the attack. Nice hit. No, the angel is so good. The angel is so awesome. He's back. He's getting some heals. There's the counter. We purposely missed again. Here comes one more Frostbat, though. Rygun is a fantastic PvPer, as are a lot of players in this lobby. Gonna go for the Horse Lording still. It's still a very viable strategy. Gonna go wide here to maybe bait out a Frostbat. There's the counter. He used that way too soon. Good Frostbat, though. Let's see how many salves he has. Here's his base, so this is bad for us. Actually, we can key his heart. If he goes into his base, guys, we get him here. And I think he knows that. We are stuck in his base, though. We, we screwed up. We have screwed up here royally. That is the end of our Merciless set. I don't know why I went into the airlock. I wasn't thinking. But he can't leave either. He can't leave or come in. So this actually works in both of our favors. We'll see how this goes. We have enough hearts to survive this. Let's see if his coffin... I don't actually see his coffin... There it is. Okay, it's in the back. Alright, we have to make a deal with this player now. We either have to get inside and key his heart down. What time is it? If we kill him, we can key his heart. You know, he could just make another door actually and then he could leave.
If he opens this door, guys, we're going inside to kill him. Oh, no, he knows. He did. He's making another door. No, that is the end of us. That is our first PvP death. I hear another player on a horse. Imagine if another player came and got inside and keyed his horse. You know, he probably took my horse. That was probably him taking my horse. Mmm. We got outplayed, guys. Absolutely outplayed here. Beautiful play by Rygon, trapping us in the airlock. That was very stupid of us to go inside there, and we have done that to players as well. And now it has been done to us. I think I'm going to go for a zero level Keely kill, and then we're going to respawn at the base, and we're going to use all our hide to make ourselves some leather. Very well played by Rygon. That is going to be our first PvP death. Absolutely. I, I don't know why in my mind I thought he was just going to go back into his base. Of, of course he's just going to leave us in the airlock. He got us in the rat trap, baby. <laughs> Beautiful plays from these tournament players. This is what I'm talking about. These are some of the best players in the world. They're just very smart. Uh, they're out PvPing. You see players just popping off all the way across the map. I think I can get a zero level kill on Keeley um, if we can use our ult. But it looks like she just went down, so that is going to make it a little bit more... Uh, troublesome also if we get a topaz we will have access uh here's keely so let's try right let's try we'll, we'll try to use uh we'll try to use this bear and uh, our angel oh my god we almost got one shot uh this might be our death that's death for sure okay good start very good start here all right hmm let me think about this guys i need keely if we get Keeley, we can go back to base and we can make Night Stalker and a little bit of Merciless Night Stalker. We also probably have enough stuff to make another Merciless Copper Sword, so that's not going to be the biggest hit in the world. Yeah. Dang, that was a big death, though. That was a big death, and the worst part is that we outplayed him in PvP to the max at the end. Um, <laughs> he, he, we won the battle, and he won the war. Maybe if we get lucky, we can also get um, a weapon, right? Let's get these animals out here uh, to kill some of this stuff. Actually, if we get bones, we can make gear. We don't need that much to be able to beat these uh, this boss. There's some bones. What was that? Is that a frost bat? Oh, there's a player here. AK-47 is here. Here's the bear doing God's work for us. What's this? Is this my stuff? All right, what do we have, guys? We've got a bone spear Madness. and a chest piece. Madness that is enough to beat Keeley one versus one, I think. AK on my back as well, unfortunately. AK is going to be hit, getting hit by all this random stuff as he tries to chase us here, so it's probably going to not be worth it for him at some point. Imagine if we killed this skull level player right now. AK starting to get low on that side. What do I need for a salve, guys? I need some plant fibers and some bones. <laughs> what a battle this is. We're back to the lowest level, guys. It's never too late to join this tournament. Come on in here. You got players level zero fighting skull players all the way across the board. It's a reinforced bone mace. That's actually a fantastic drop for us. Here's Boonda as well. We're going to counter that one. Look at the map awareness. Here comes an angel. No, the archer killed us. That's Buddha getting the base. This is the tournament champion from the $200 cash cup. He's one shot. He's going to get away. He's level seven. The little rat got us. Unfortunately, the archer shot us in the back there. That is our second tournament death.
<laughs> this is Boonda Pump, one of the $200 Merciless Cash Cup winners from last night. Just beautiful plays from these players. Absolutely level zero. The Angel really didn't help me that much, but he missed with his ult as well. Let me think. We need All we need is Bone, and we're going to be able to take Keeley down. I don't think it's worth it for us to go all the way home. Also, we do not have a horse. So I think the play here is to go for Keeley. We just need to make a, a little bit of random stuff here, and then we can respawn at the way gates. So let's try to respawn at the way gate, and then we will get... Uh, all we need is like 20 bone, right? 20 bone for a weapon. That reinforced bone mace was actually massive, but unfortunately Boonda was the better player there, and that arrow to our head for 33 damage was just too much to take. At 125 health, 33 damage is going to be just over 20% or so. So all we need is a wee bit of bone, and we will be competitive. So we gotta kill some wolves and some bears and maybe loot a chest. It doesn't matter where we go in the world right now. There are so many players out here just diving in. There's some bone and some animal hide. And there's another animal chasing us. Doing good so far. There's another player showing up now. There's AK-47 again. No, the arrows! The arrows! I can't! I can't, guys. It's too much PvP. We've now been killed by three players. Rygon, AK-47, and Boonda. We did so fantastic when we were a good level. Unfortunately, getting trapped in the airlock by Rygon has set us all the way back. I think we do have to just consider going home and getting into our second set at this point. These aren't huge setbacks, but they're enough to make us stop and wonder. It's enough to hurt our brains. All right, I'm going to go ahead, since we're, uh, we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and do the next drawing, guys. So this tournament is open. Please put exclamation mark merciless in the chat for the next drawing. And we're going to be drawing up a Vampire Rising base game. The pain. The pain of defeat I tasted, and it is coppery and horrific. AK-47 isn't even that high of a level. If we'd been able to just get some armor on and a weapon, we might have been able to take him down there. He is going to get stomped through the chest by Keeley. Madness. So he is Madness going for Keeley, at least partially here. It might be a good idea for us to wait to respawn. If we can just suck on the neck of Keeley after AK kills him, then that would actually be a big pickup for us. We might want to play this safely and cautiously, or just come back. I mean, a level zero does have the opportunity to kill a skull player if you use the counters correctly, the wolf snare, and your ultimate. We have 100 players in the drawing, guys, so good luck, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. That's Keely resetting, so it's very interesting. I kind of wanted to sit here um, and not respawn, and we'll wait for someone to pull Keely, and then we can run back from the waygate and grab the neck. Keely, we do need Frostbad, and you know what? AK has Frostbad, so I don't think he actually needs Keely. I think he's just gatekeeping. He probably has his base nearby. You're Here comes someone. This is Nomicide. We saw him earlier at Clive. This is actually a good way to just sit here and watch, right? You can actually literally wait for players to attack Keely, and then you can decide when you want to come back. With the waygate that close, it's going to be very easy to steal a kill. But you can see how challenging this is going to be. With this many players here, a lot of them are just gatekeeping. Everyone that has bases are gatekeeping those who are nearby. Um, unfortunately, I really, I really don't think we're going to be able to get Keely here, guys. Mm. 
Maybe we go for a level zero alpha wolf. Now let's go get our second set on and uh, we'll continue to pressure this. All right, so I'm gonna draw this one guys. This next winner is gonna be Periodic Period. Congratulations on your win guys. These are the players who have won so far, Lexi and Periodic Period. Please whisper me in Twitch chat and I will get you the copy of those games and DLCs. All right, let me take a look. What happened to our, uh, our uh, there they are. So the Sun Resistance Brews did get built. Um, it just didn't work out. Also, we've got the Garlic Resistance Brew, so we can get that going before we get cotton, if we're lucky. Let's go ahead and put on some, uh, some of this random gear that we've just been dropping, right? This has basically become our second set here on the ground. All right, so we're up to level 11 already. We've got a reinforced weapon. And we're probably going to need to switch out uh, our space bar. Even though it's a good space bar, it does do damage to players. I think we're going to swap it out for the Veil of Illusion. That way we get the double dash. So here we are at level 14. Level 14-ish, I should say. No, you know what? We need, we need copper. Why wouldn't we put our best set on? So let's go ahead and grab copper. Right, here we go. And then we've also got some Night Stalker. So we weren't set that far back. This is the economic life cycle of a hardcore tournament. Nice sucker chest, night sucker, night sucker. We mostly just have nice sucker chests and legs. So you can really see that other players were also struggling to get the pieces that they wanted and needed. All right, let's take a look at Clive and we'll see if anyone's fighting Clive. Maybe we can actually pick up a good little gear set real fast. It looks like Trapula just got stuck in a base because the raid time is now over and he is trying to destroy someone's key, but it is no longer time for the raid. So that is another player trapped inside of a base. It's not just me. It's also other players getting stuck. Wow. We are taking immense damage from these archers. All right, guys, we took our very first PVP death from Rygon inside the airlock and that has set us back about an hour. Unfortunately, we just took so many deaths at Keeley that we basically had to just full reset. We still need a horse, and I know there's a ton of horses at Quincy, and we still need Quincy as well to get into iron, so we're pretty far behind in this tournament, unfortunately. But we're having fun and hanging out, so thank you all for tuning in. We're going to be getting into some more PvP. All we have to do is kill someone who has an iron weapon or a holofang set, and that gear will be ours. So there has to be some players out in tier two right now. It might be worth our time and effort to just go there and kill someone at Iron Mine, but I still want to get the frost bat over my counter. And I would like to be able to make ourselves some merciless and merciless Night Stalker.